All right, I'm just gonna read the log because I think I skipped this part. I don't think I got to this part. Okay, this is where we left off. So I don't know if I'm gonna cut the video to here. I might as well do that uh, for the VOD. So like, hello everybody, welcome to Let's Cats. Um, had to reload to this place and uh, kind of skipped a little bit of dialogue. So I'm gonna read from the log, but we're playing Nekojishi and I'm dating some cat boys and we're talking to, I'm talking to Likulao, which is a clouded leopard in the mirror room, which is the dance practice place. So no one else can see him. So that's gonna be a little weird, but okay. So leopard, I've been wanting to ask you, getting the words out, <laughs> getting the words out in between breaths. You say that you wish for me to go to Wutai and become an oracle, but what would you do if I don't go? Wait, wait until when? Wait until Liao does go. And if I never do? All right, you say that your tribe needs an oracle, but if I don't go to Wutai, is there any other way to help? Help not be an oracle. Like, what if I don't have, I don't have to be, like, what if I don't have to be there to help out? The internet is so helpful these days. People can send me questions that I can send back answers from afar. Oops. I, oops. Oop, 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 oop. How did I open the log? <laughs> I just did it. Oh, there you go. Oop, oop, oop. There you go, there you go. Um, I don't know. Oracle is busy. Must speak with many people. Mm, what about using the internet or speaking over the phone? Okay. Hello. Dogbutt hates Twitch. Only cats I feel outraged. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. I think not. Hmm. I get that some things need to be discussed in person, but not all things. It seems like Leopard needs me to help needs me to help get messages across. Mm, perhaps I can pass those messages from here. I also know that it's important for an oracle to be trustworthy. I am a Han. And it would already be difficult for the tribe to accept me. Even more so if I am just a voice on the phone. Liao, Liao, are you tired? Wanna rest? Hmm? Uh oh, I'm fine. I actually am resting. What does Senpai mean? You mind if I sit here? It seems like you and Kulao are... <laughs> seems, like, seems to me like you and Kulao are having a lot of fun. Are you just Kulao? <laughs> Is that your nickname for him now? Um, not really. I was asking a really serious question. <laughs> About going to Wutai? Yeah, you know, can I join the talk too? Is that a good idea, senpai? Aren't you two, like, opponents? <laughs> not really. Now, if you don't want to go home, you can help me restore the temple and then go to Wutai. I know Kula will want you to go as soon as, would want you to go as soon as possible, but this can still be discussed, right? So for now, we're all friends. Senpai took Leopard's paw as a sign of friendship. Leopard didn't seem to object, but since his face is always the same expression, I wasn't sure if he agreed or not. Uh, okay, but Senpai, why do you call him Kula? His name is Lee Kulao, but that's just how the Riku Rukai language is. His family name is not Lee. I know, but we all call our friends by their first names, and I think Kulao sounds nice. Isn't, isn't that a bit disrespectful? I was worried that Leopard would take offense to how Senpai was calling him, but his expression never changed. <laughs> Zoom. I don't know what to make of it, but at least he didn't seem to disapprove. So, Kulao and I are friends. To me, it seemed like a quite one-sided friendship. Well then, you know, Senpai, it's rude to cut into others' conversations. Oh, okay. I'll check with Kulao later. See ya! <laughs> Why is someone in the chat taking over? I need to put, like, my chat here. I don't have the chat thing, though. I'll have to do that next stream. <laughs> That's classic Senpai for you. So, we'll also continue this conversation later? Yes. Cloud Leopard seems to be thinking deeply about something. I wonder what. I can never tell with him. <laughs> After Senpai interrupted my conversation with Leopard, I tried to find an opportunity to speak one-on-one, -on -one, but soon I would realize that Senpai would be the most difficult person to have a private chat with. Tiger and Leopard are with me in class, and it's difficult to catch Senpai alone during practice. 
At home, it's even worse. With three cats in the room, there's just no chance for privacy. After trying for several days to no avail, I figured my only option would be to let Tiger and the Leopard browse around the cafeteria while I sneak a few questions with Senpai. Uh, you know Senpai. Hmm? He was eating pork rib noodles. The school cafeteria is famous for having the best fried ribs. Those are even better when dipped in soup. But now's not the time for the advertising. Um, you know, about what you said before, about going with you to Miaoli to help restore the temple? Oh, so Liao, you decided to come. N not yet, I haven't. Please don't push it like that. Fine, Liao, is there anything you'd like to ask? Yeah, if I stay here in Taipei, could I still be helpful to you? Well, it doesn't work like that. There are temple ceremonies to be performed, and how will you encourage people to come worship if you aren't even there? Like, passing along spiritual messages? Before that, we still need to clean the place up, right? I could come over during the weekends to help with that. Without you there, the temple won't have a priest, though. Things aren't as simple as just passing along messages. It may sound weird, but it's better to be a down-to-earth person. Mm, senpai isn't being very convincing. Mm, that's kind of a rude thing to say. How about you show some respect to your senpai? Mm. So please, senpai, please, so please, senpai, try to be more, seem more respectable. Hmm, well, I never. So, is this little kitten arguing with Liao? We weren't arguing. I'm best friends with Liao. Isn't that right? Uh, really? Whatever. Get it all out and then get your butt back to Miaoli. The old man is so long-winded. If you don't like it, then why not just leave right now? How could I? The old man is the best! Still calling me old man. <laughs> this is a moving animation! <laughs> Guardian Tiger, old man? Not you two. And that's how this conversation ended in a fight also. Meow haha. <laughs> Let me tippy tap them abs. <laughs> That night, I was browsing through the forums with Tiger. <laughs> just browsing through the forums with Tiger. Just an everyday old, normal night. <laughs> okay, keep scrolling down. I use the mouse to scroll down. Mmm, so that's how it is. Okay, previous page. I clicked on the previous page. Yes, that one please, open that one. I clicked on the article that, art that Tiger wanted to open. Hmm. So boring. Uh, oh, sorry, Leo. You must be tired. A bit? I don't want to complain, but it really was a pain to watch him read all these boring things that I didn't even understand. If only he didn't need my hands to work the computer. Isn't there a better way to do this? I am very bored just sitting here while you read. Hmm. Why not ask Senpai to help you use the mouse? Say what? Why wouldn't I want to help? The old man is always pushing me to leave. I don't want the help of this little kid either. This is not fun for me. <laughs> you still can't ask me to help my enemy. Even if it was for Liao's sake, I still wouldn't count on him. You're literally just asking him to browse the internet for you. It seems their rivalry is quite fierce. Do you want to try it and get them help help them to get along? No, I won't ask for a snub. <laughs> Find a way to convince them. I'm curious. I'm okay, I'm gonna save. I might as well. Ugh. I might as well start saving over my old saves because they're the old uh, save type, so they don't work anymore. All right. Mm, I'm gonna try to find a way to convince them. I mean, you guys are both my friends. I want you to be both friends, please. Thank you. Hmm. What if you try to look at things from a different angle? Senpai, if Tiger gets used to you helping him with the computer, then he won't ask you to leave anymore. Hmm. Perhaps he won't. And Tiger, if I refuse to help you, then you'll have to accept Senpai's help, right? Nope. If Leo doesn't help me, I'll just stop using the computer. Wouldn't that be a shame? It only help clicking the mouse. It's not like you have to be friends or anything. Still no. Who could it be? At this time? Check out my phone. It was a call from home. I felt like it was going to be bad news. 
Mm, let me get this. You must have felt something because both stopped arguing as soon as I answered the phone. Hello? Dad? Uh, Liao, it's me. <laughs> ah, bro? Yeah, Liao. Why so surprised? Because you almost never call. I thought it was Dad. Normally I wouldn't just call, but Dad told me you, you've seen a guardian tiger. Uh, um, no, no I haven't. Um, I do kind of want to confess to seeing Guardian Tiger, though. So, give a run around or confess. Let's see. Let's see. Literally, I just saved five seconds ago, but I kind of want to save for everything. Um, confess. Uh, that wouldn't be impossible, seeing Guardian Tigers? You know it's that it's not impossible, don't you? No, I mean, how how could I? So, why ask Dad about it? Well... I just wanted to ask if our family has this kind of legacy. So you have seen it? Eh? Or was it a hallucination? Not a hallucination, but all too real. Guardian Tiger's actually standing here right next to me, and he can speak. S speak Really? Leo, bro, are, are you feeling okay? Are you feverish? I know it sounds hard to believe, so I'd understand if you don't. I also couldn't believe it at first, so I wanted to ask Dad about it. But you all said that it's impossible. Yo, you know that it's normal for that most people can't see Guardian Tigers, but you are special. I know, but this has all been so distressing. Yeah, what are you saying? No, I was just I was just talking to Guardian Tiger. Uh, I'm going for Guardian Tiger right now. Really? What a weird situation. What do you mean? Why can't I see any tigers? Oh, right. Could it be the statue you took to Taipei? It is, yeah. So, is your guardian tiger really small? No, actually, he's huge. Like, at least two meters tall. That large thing emerged from such a small statue? And then what? What's his name? Name? Um... I don't know. I don't have a name. Gods are usually named by humans. He says that he doesn't have a name. Names are given by humans. Really? So why not give him a name? Oh, I never thought to do that. So he really doesn't have a name? Uh, he says that he doesn't. Hey Tiger, do you want a name? Hmm. Yes, he does. I'm a guardian tiger too, so every time you call the old man, the old man guardian tiger, it's really awkward. Oh, but senpai. Well, I don't really care. I'm just a small god, and we usually don't have names. It causes a little kid to be to feel awkward. That's even better. Are you are you just trying to bully me? But if Liao would choose a name for me, it, would, it could be nice too. It strengthens the bond between gods and their worshippers when the worshippers call them by name. When you put it like that, maybe it's best you don't have a name. I know, Liao. Why not name me? Aren't you already Yanshuchi? That's your senpai's name, not my name. Liao, please help choose one for me. <sighs> Little kid, stop annoying Liao. Hey Liao, what's- Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> hey Liao, what's going on? Uh, oh, nothing. Guardian Tiger was just saying- Guardian Tiger really is right there next to you, talking? Yeah. Wow, really? So, can I ask it a few questions? Okay. If my big bro asked, uh, if my big bro asked about the possession rituals or about worship, it helped me better understand things. But on the other hand, if I can ask these questions, that it would prove you're really seeing a guardian tiger. I want to name all of them. They don't have none of them have names except Li Kulao. <laughs> so you haven't believed me yet? Nothing is certain until we make certain. Uh, you sound genuine, but let's make sure. It's alright if you don't believe me. Maybe best if I have ne never told you at all. <laughs> Too late, you already told me. But still, you say you see this guardian tiger, but I can't. I mean, I have also just recently started seeing him. I thought that it would have been better if Bro could have been the one to see guardian tiger, because he is a Jitong already. Um, it was Clouded Leopard who revealed tiger to me. If Leopard had run over to my brother, then it could have been an even bigger problem. Uh, but please don't tell Dad about this. I know I won't, but you should be more careful. Don't say things to people if you don't want them to know, and find better hiding places for your comics. Uh, bro? Don't worry, I put it in a better hiding place. You be more careful, okay? When you go back home, I'll tell you where I hid it. 
Oh, okay. Th thanks, bro. Oh, I see. Likulao just means Clouded Leopard in Rukai, so he doesn't have a name. <laughs> no problem. Talk to you later. Right, didn't you say you were going to ask him questions? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he found my doujinshi. <laughs> That's awkward. That's really awkward. I would hate it if... I mean, I only have like one, but I would be really, really embarrassed if like anyone in my family found my doujinshi. <laughs> Uh, Big Pro found my comics and now I just told him about Guardian Tiger. What have I done? Leo, are you okay? <clears throat> That's not your voice. Leo, are you okay? No, why did I have to tell him? Now the fa whole family will know. Well, all of the gods back home already know. What? Clairvoyant and clear audience are at home. They haven't run over to find you yet, but I'm sure they're all waiting excitedly for you to return. Now I really don't want to go back. <laughs> no problem. Hmm. I said no problem, but I was still worried. I shouldn't have shared such things with my brother. I should have just said that I don't know anything. I took a deep breath and looked back to the computer. Right, Tiger was still looking through the forums. I sighed deeply. Hmm. No privacy for me. Another week went by and I still had no clue to what to do. It's already Friday again. Liao! Huh? What? Senpai jumped out of nowhere with intense determination, shocking the living daylights out of me. This weekend, let's go out! Again? Senpai, you always want to go out. Aren't you tired? Weekends for, are for having fun. Yeah, aren't you bored always staying in? Eh, I'm fine with staying in. Since Senpai came there, <laughs> since Senpai came, there are three cats living here now. I feel that it's hard enough to take care of them. Uh, uh, to take care of them all each day, but on the weekends there is always something to go out for. Sometimes I do, sometimes I do long for a day to be to just be empty, stay at home, and rest. Also, soon it will be the tomb sweeping festival, and I have a place I wish to go. Senpai has a place planned for each weekend. This time it's different. Now it's the perfect time of the season to go. What time of the season? <laughs> Come on, yeah, I'll think for a second spring we already went to the hot springs there's not many cherry blossoms in taiwan not cherry blossoms but close what blossom does taiwan have many of taiwan doesn't have many blossom festivals what do you mean oh liao you really don't know do you i'm talking about tung blossoms tung blossom what i can't believe you don't know about tung blossoms they're literally everywhere soon all the tung blossom gardens will be full of tourists and now's the best time to go haven't you noticed lately all the commercials promoting the Hakatung Blossom Festival? Uh, let's- oops, well, bye glossary. <laughs> let's, uh, there you go. Hakatung Blo Blossom Festival, established 2002 in Taiwan. The new festival that combine, combines Hakka culture and ecotourism. That's pretty cool. Tongue Blossom season. I'm not an expert on the subject, but it seems like it's the season to go see all the tongue, tree, tongue trees bloom. So, let's go! That was a really high-pitched let's go. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> See flower blossoms. Hmm. I don't know how tongue blossoms look like, but I guess I'm going to a tongue blossom garden is, going to, uh, is about the same as going to watch cherry blossoms. I've never done that either, though. I just read about it in comics. So where can we go see the flowers? The best tongue blossom garden... <laughs> oh. The best tongue blossom gardens are in... Si are in oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Are in Sinchu and Miali. I'd love to show you the sea of my blossoms under my hometown, but it is a bit far to go. There's a place much closer that's also quite nice. Where? The mountain behind school. The far one. That's actually not very far, but if it's on a mountain, that means we have to climb up, don't we? Yao doesn't like to hike? Not that. I was just thinking out loud. And compared to going downtown, it does sound nicer. I'm not sure why, but I don't like places full of people. So, what do we need to prepare? We could bring stuff for a picnic if you want. It won't take much. Uh, you can count on me to get everything ready. I can go, but I'm not sure if the others would like to. I turned to look at the other two cats. Guardian Tiger shrugged his shoulders and Cloud of Leopards out there emotionless as, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> it sounds okay to me. 
Then it's set. We'll go see the flowers tomorrow. And that's how our weekend plans were decided. I love that it's just it's just always senpai. This ex for the exception of the first weekend where where Guardian Tiger was like, "Hey, I want to look at electronics," and I was like, "I sounds pretty cool actually." <laughs> I, I still went shopping that weekend with with uh, with senpai anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so cold. True, the air up here is quite refreshing. Senpai, I don't believe that you feel much cold. <laughs> it is already April. There's no no more need for jackets, right? This high, of course, of course. <laughs> this high up, of course, you need a jacket. Mmm, Liao can't handle weather well. Senpai has fur. I don't. <laughs> well, not really. Guardian Tiger isn't human either. Enough, you two. Kitten, don't encourage Liao to catch cold. Mm, the old man is always Liao is always telling Liao to dress more warmly. It's a pain to wear too many clothes. You don't, don't you know? More, more a pain than getting sick. Had a leopard bounce over and press his paws against my ears, sending warmth right through me. My ears instantly felt a lot more comfortable. Uh, oh, th thank you. <laughs> oh, I want to try too. <laughs> Senpai bounced over and gave me a hug. Ugh, what a little kitten. <laughs> I thought that Guardian Tiger would pull Senpai off me, but instead he jumped over and wrapped all of us, including Senpai and Leopard, with his huge tiger hug. Oh my god. Google thing... Okay, Google this for actual tongue flower photo. Postpone it later to voice bullet. Okay, I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna Google it when it comes up. No, okay, 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 that's enough. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Being hugged by three big cats was quite comfortable, and most people don't see tiger or leopard. They should at least see senpai, and it's weird for two guys to be hugging like that out in public. Okay, okay. I thought I'd try and push them off me, but I wouldn't have been able to. Eventually they let go, and I pulled senpai to rush away from there as quickly as possible. These guys, just like the rumors, this could get quite amusing. Oh, I don't know who Dragon Man is, but... That was a dragon man there. We followed Senpai to a small path going up to the top of the mountain. Part of this mountain is for tourism, and they created many hiking trails that wind all over the place. Though without Senpai, we probably would have gotten lost. Let me see- Oh, I love the lighting here. Like, it's covering the top of them, but there's still light passing through the trees. I love that. Let me see. Mm, yes, according to the map, the best place to see the flowers this way. Senpai, what do tongue flowers even look like? They're white and they fall to the ground, so it looks like snow. Weird that we haven't seen any yet. They should be right around. We walked down the path, enjoying the fresh mountain air, but still not seeing any flowers, but the few that grew along the sides of the road. Mm, maybe if we go further in? We went further down the path and came along some stone stairs. Thought about how many stones had, had to be brought here to make all these pathways. When the trails are all set up nicely like this, climbing a mountain just feels like taking a stroll. Going further, we came upon some older paths that have not been paved with stones. Luckily, the weather was nice and the ground wasn't muddy. How weird. All this way and still no flowers? Mm, could we have taken the wrong path? Or maybe... Maybe what? Senpai didn't answer. Just kept walking quickly ahead. I could do nothing but follow. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a... That's a... Uh... Kickstarter funder uh, character insert. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm guessing that's what Randolph was as well. Randolph was a cool character. I'm curious about like other the other um, uh, what are they called? The other spirits. I forgot what they're called. Now I want to look at the glossary. I need to learn these words because I think they're interesting. Hold on. Oh, page three. That's on page one. No. It was somewhere. <laughs> Yao Guai. I need I need I'm curious about all the other Yao Guai. Should be around here. Oh this is nice. We arrived at a place that looked like an abandoned farm with a small hut on the far side. Next to the empty field was a large boulder under the sh shade of a large tree. It seemed like the perfect place to sit and have a rest. This is the place, but it seems like the tree hasn't started blooming yet. So this is a tongue tree? Uh, yeah, it's a rather large one, but it seems like we came too early. Meowly, the flower should be blooming right around this time of year. 
Probably because we are in the north. So? Taipei is far farther north than Miaoli, so perhaps the flower season begins later. Oh, perhaps. Uh, I just wanted to bring Liao up here to see the flower blossoms. As long as we're out here, let's have a picnic. It's a shame that we didn't see didn't get to see the flowers, but since I've never seen them before, I didn't feel like I was missing anything. Hmm. Maybe there's still another way. Senpai ran over the, to the tree and placed his hand on the trunk. Oh. Maybe I can try... Yeah, please wait quietly while I try something difficult. What? Okay. Senpai stood in front of the tree, making a ritual hand sign in front of his chest. A green aura slowly started emanating from within him. Oh. Felt tiger and leopard get a bit nervous. What's happening? The green aura quickly surrounded the tree, then started seeping into it, and the tree started to move. Oh, that's pretty. Some buds began to open up at the top of the tree, then all down the tree, flowers blossomed white. Some petals fell down, down onto the boulder, creating an amazingly beautiful scene. Not bad. Pretty. I went over to look at the flower petal. Picking it up, I saw that it was pure and white, with no blemishes. The flower even had pollen inside. If it weren't that I picked it up, I'd have thought this flower was picked directly off the tree. <laughs> I mean, yes, we are messing directly with nature, but I think it was just one tree. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the fact that the two of the other trees in the back also have flowers on them now. <laughs> Senpai, that was that was awesome. <laughs> Wasn't it, though? It's only one tree, but now, now Liao can see the tongue blossoms. But Senpai, I thought you didn't have any god powers. Can you be exerting yourself like this? I've had this power ever since I became a Yao Guai. A local god of soil won't teach you how to make flowers bloom. Oh. Now the scenery is ready. Let's have our picnic! Senpai took a blanket out from his backpack and spread it down between the falling flower petals. Hikes mean picnics, and pic picnics mean junk food. What did you bring us, Liao? Junk food? We aren't kids. <laughs> junk food? We aren't kids. Senpai, you're already a college student. Cherish your youth. Senpai took out some cookies, crackers, pastries... These things can definitely fill one's stomach, but it can't possibly consider a complete meal. So, what did Liao bring? I silently took out the bento box I prepared earlier this morning. Made it while Senpai was sleeping. I barely ever used the kitchen. I didn't even know that we had a kitchen. <laughs> and I used the recipe I found on the internet, so it probably didn't turn out very well. I also made a few mistakes in preparation that luckily Tiger was there to help me fix. I tried my best to make the vegetables and meat, so there should they should be nourishing at least. Oh. Does Tiger know how to cook? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at his face! I love Likulao. When he has like emotion, it's just so shocking because he's usually like so stone faced. Oh, what? C couples bentos? Stop joking around. I was thinking that I should make try making bentos for our picnic. Wow. Liao, I never thought you would do that for me. Enough, kitten. Liao never said it, he made it just for you. Mm, then for whom? It's not like you need to eat bentos. We can have Liao eat it for us. Oh, wasteful. That would be such a waste. Why? Liao, you made the bento for me, didn't you? Taught Liao how to make it. If anything, it should be an offering to me. Liao's bento. I want. Wait, 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 wait. It's only just a bento. I quickly put the bento behind my back to keep them from thinking about grabbing it. No need to bicker. I made this bento to be my lunch today. Why would you think I made it for you? <laughs> Great, I love it. But Liao, if you offer it to us before you eat it, then nothing's lost, only gained. Mm, that is true. Seems to be no harm. Wait, wait, if you do that, everyone gets to eat bento but me. You don't need. Cool, Al, you too. I wanted to taste Liao's homemade bento. Senpai tried the sad puppy eyes technique. Suddenly, Tiger and Leopard took a menacing step towards me. What should I do? Who should I let eat, eat my handmade bento? I kind of wish, I kind of wish there was a fourth option that was just like, no one, just me. Because <laughs> that would be me. I'd be like, look, I know I'm trying to romance you, Tiger, right now, but like... You see how good this looks? I'm gonna eat this. 
we are we are going down his path. I can't really like say that I should do someone else. Hold on. So let's just let's just go with with Tiger. I would like to thank Senpai for giving us his pretty view, but he does have snacks. And Likulao, you haven't like Likulao talk more, please. You're great. Talk more. <sighs> fine, fine. This is how it is, then I offer it to Who? Huh? Why was Leopard being so jumpy? Wasn't I just about to say who? That's when I noticed his expression was a bit off. Unnerved, I quickly looked away. Damn, dude. Mmm, excuse me. I'm not sure if I would consider that a shirt, but good try. Ah, oh, what? Ugh, the meat is too salty, don't you think? Who are you? Is this the first thing you've ever cooked? You definitely need more practice. Then why was- I, that's why I was just gonna eat it myself! Were you just about to give it to someone? Giving a bento is your expression of affection. It's not like that, don't leap to conclusions. So, aren't these three your suitors, or are they mistaken? You're mistaken. Also, who are you? Don't you know not to just come over and steal other people's food? <laughs> I feared those three would start fighting, so I came to help. If I eat it, then the problem is solved. Well, I guess. But who are you? That's still stealing. <laughs> you should at least ask me first. That's right. Usually when I meet a god of soil, I should give a polite greeting. But this time it's you being impolite first. Yes, how dare you be so... Huh? God of soil? Mm, yes, what's wrong? I see. This one looks like a dragon from far away. I feel the chi of a god of soil, but I've never seen any god like this around before. <laughs> Likula! <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Many people say that, I guess. I guess I do look a bit weird. So, then. Hello, everyone. My name is Ragu Laron. The Grand Tree Lord. You can call me Ragu. Like the pasta sauce. I'm delicious and made of tomatoes. That's why I'm red. Uh, Grand Tree Lord. A god that lives in a tree. Or an ancient tree that becomes a local god of soil and is worshipped by the local people. Oh, I see. So he's a tree spirit that looks like a dragon? How weird. What kind of tree looks like that? And those clothes. Everything I, about this guy is just weird. Definitely not from around here. I don't even know where to begin with you. Well, firstly, how dare you steal my bento? After you touched it, who else would want any? No one said it was yours, kitten. Neither did anyone say it was yours, old man. You just want to say old man, huh? Hold up, hold on, we're getting off subject again. So, this guy is a is a god of soil? He's really a god of soil, he sh then I should be more polite. But in this kind of situation, I just couldn't help myself. How could a god of soil look like that? None of the gods I've ever learned about had this appearance. There are many kinds of god of soil, Liao. It is a bit weird, but the spiritual chi tells me he's authentic. And it's the weirdest god I've ever seen. <laughs> True. Even I think I look unique. He seemed very proud of being unique, but that wasn't the problem. Liao want to know, why different? Hmm, I guess I've always been like this. I used to be an old tree, then I became a grand tree lord, and then- Oh right, these clothes. Try to guess what these are. These weird clothes? How are we supposed to know? <laughs> he ate my bento more like the god of soil did. <laughs> Soiled it! <laughs> you really don't know. Well, I'll tell you. This is a landslide safety net. <laughs> okay, that explains it. <laughs> like the ones at the edges of cliffs to, to prevent falling rocks? Exactly. After some tumbling rocks dragged this net around me, worshippers started to see me in this form. Alright. Why would a grand tree door look like a dragon? <laughs> well, that's because my tree trunk resembles a dragon's form. Really? A dragon's form? Yes, it's like that ever since I got struck by lightning. People say I look like a dragon. First, I didn't get it either, but one day an artist came to paint a canvas. 
or just painted me as if a, as if a dragon sleeping in a thunderstorm. I'm not sure if I like it, but it was certainly very well painted. <laughs> in the painting, I wasn't wearing any clothes, but I couldn't go gallivanting around naked now, could I? <laughs> so you just grab a net to go gallivanting? Exactly. You are very smart. You're also wearing shoes. Just just to note, but I'm not gonna not gonna uh, pull any strings here. <laughs> well, I am a college student. Why does a grand tree lord like you want to be called Ragu? <laughs> Some kind of lord I am. I'm drawn as a dragon, and I imagine wearing it like this. Now, calling me a lord would just be really weird as calling me any other name. Well then, brother Ragu, what are you doing here? Liao, don't be rude. Oh, right, sorry. So, why did you choose to grace us with your presence? <laughs> that's that's okay. No need to be that serious. I just like to chat with my worshippers. Like, on an equal level? <laughs> of course, people would have some respect for the gods, but I don't like that formal talk. It sounds weird to me. This one's really quite the unique god. <laughs> so, why did you choose to appear here and steal my bento? I came to see you guys. See us? You guys are famous, don't you know? What? Famous? How could that be? A boy that can channel spirits and runs around with creatures like you three? Of course that would be something all the Yao Guais would know about, didn't you know? Not know. I also didn't know. I'm too busy dealing with Yanshu Chi's life that I didn't have time to chat with any other Yao Guai. I, I know Liao would not be happy about this. So Tiger, you did know? I know that Yao Guai is like to gossip, so it's only natural. I hear you are a slick young man, letting these three chase after you, not making a decision. What? That's not what they're saying. Oh, what do they think they know about this? Yao Guai's also need some entertainment. In this day and age, some can play games and read comics. I even know how to play the 3DS that my little disciple gave me. Really? Yes, I can press the buttons, but... I wouldn't play with when any worshippers are watching. Wait, wait, that's not important. What other rumors did they say about us? Just like I said, you don't- You let these three doe after you without making a choice. Isn't that taking advantage? Not like that. They're the ones who came looking for me. I'm not sure if I can promise to do the task they required me to do, so it's been like this. And those three are all male. Even if they- Even if those Yao Guais are very open-minded, they couldn't think of dabbling in three pawns. <laughs> Oh, so you see these three as males. What? How, how else would I? So that's how it is. Hmm. So in your eyes, am I male too? Yes, a young dragon man. <laughs> and I was imagining myself as a jolly old aunt. But you see gods don't have genders. People see gods as the gender they imagine the god to be. So the way that you see them isn't necessarily how they are. However, are you sure you don't see them as the gender you prefer to like? Huh? What? <laughs> Damn. My se the secret's out. You can't keep the secrets around the gods, man. I thought that I'd been seeing beastmen just because they were animal gods, so wouldn't that be normal? I guess different worshippers would understand gods differently according to their own perception. True, I've heard stories about Guan Yin being male or female, but I never thought that genders could switch like that. Guan Yin, named from the Sanskrit Avalokitsvara. I've heard of that. I think, which means sound perceiver is an East Asian but but it's uh, I forgot to pronounce these words. They're all words that I'm familiar with, but I haven't taken art history in a while. But Bodhisattva, yes, East Asian Bodhisattva, that commonly known as the goddess of mercy. Guan Yin is one of the most famous gods to Chinese people. Cool beans. Uh, but yeah, apparently, uh. We may also say that Bodhisattva doesn't have a gender. Uh, Guanyin statues in China built before Tang Dynasty are mostly male, but now people consider Guanyin as female. It's also known as the Goddess of Mercy. Interesting. Uh, I guess different worshippers would have... Oh, okay, yes. But at, at least Senpai is a... Mm, Liao, I only possess Yanchu Chi to speak to you after learning about your sexual orientation. Yeah, you're straight. Everyone loves the boy with the baby face, right? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> However, maybe from their perspective, it simply does look like you are leading them on. Even this story with the bento seems like me. You're enticing them to bicker. I never had that intention. How could you think like that? 
I'm a boy and they're gods. You never heard of men falling in love with gods? You guys must have been m misinformed. Well, yeah, we are all living together after all. Senpai, please don't make it worse. When you say things like that, it does it sounds quite awkward. But us gods couldn't possibly have romantic feelings for Liao. I just wish for him to ignore the other two and go home after graduation. I can never think of forming a relationship. I understood his words, but hearing them made me feel uncomfortable. Hmm? Leopard seemed not to understand the conversation. I thought it best that he didn't. <laughs> no more joking around. I know that they don't feel that way, except for the little. Don't call me little. <laughs> All right then, Leopard Cat. But the rumors, uh, but the rumors are what they are. So I came to see for myself. Little bro, do you really have no romantic feelings for these cats? None at all. <laughs> really? Well, it seems you are all quite friendly with each other. Whatever happens, you'll make you'll make good companions. Good companions? You don't know the whole story. Do you even know what they're asking me to do? Please say, what have they come to request from you? A jitong, a priest, an oracle? I would have to choose one role and do it for many years, perhaps even my whole life. So how can I make such a promise? Hmm. So then you'll you'll have to promise one of them that you'll be that you'll be together for life. Why do you have to say it like that? Isn't it like that though? Whoever you choose will be your companion for life. As a difficult as difficult as a decision to make, if you keep leading, letting these three follow you everywhere in anticipation, isn't that a bit disrespectful to the gods? Oh, I never saw it like that. You can't put off this decision forever. Why not choose the companion you get along with best and just stay together? It's not that easy to choose, and I also had my own life plans. Teaming up with others naturally changes one's own life plans. Plans. I imagine if you had a relationship with another human, wouldn't that change your life? Your plans the same? That doesn't make it any easier. Even if I refuse all three, it's none of your business. <laughs> I saw how stressed you were, so I came to help. You are dealing with God, so of course it's of interest to all of us. I want to make my own decision, so please don't speak of my affairs as if they were your own. But your affairs are God affairs. Mm, annoying, but true. Even if there's no, even if there is no perfect way to settle things, you should still decide as soon as possible. Because this appears to be quite disrespectful to the gods, keeping all three lingering over you like this. I don't mind. It's fine as long as Liao goes home after graduation. You won't have time to be to go be a temple priest or an aborigines oracle. The old man is so selfish. My temple is facing a very critical situation. If you go back to being a Yao Guai, things wouldn't be so bad. And if my Fudagong loses all god powers? Gods of soil don't die, they just lose their powers. The local people feel that feel they don't need to worship gods, and that's how it is. Mm. Please stop it, you two. I'm in the middle of having trouble deciding because it's really difficult for me. I know, but it won't get easier if you put it off. Unless something new suddenly comes up. Liao must quickly come Wutai. Something bad. What is it? Danger. We must warn them. Every temple has stories about gods helping their worshippers ward off some prophecy of doom. Sorry, Kulao, but your story isn't any more special. Exactly why you shouldn't just run off to anyone's else why you shouldn't run off to anyone else's temple. Liao is of the Lin family. You should take care of your own Mazu temple and your family needs. It's important to run around saving all the worshippers of all the temples. Oh, it's impossible to run around saving all worshippers of all temples. You really are selfish. You are the one being selfish. <sighs> now I understand your troubles. They aren't small. You guys don't get it. I'm not playing around. I'm stressed every day. I feel like I should remind you that this situation won't resolve itself. You will stay stressed until you finally make a decision. I guess so. Those Yaguais are spreading rumors, so the faster you get over this, the better. What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Just who you wish to team up with. No matter what, someone will have to be hurt, so keep it simple for everyone. Speaking about my relationships again, what's that? What's wrong with that? You can change your god's appearance according to your preferences, and your god can help you with many things. Heard you had some 
interesting needs that your god can help you fulfill. How do you know all this? <laughs> so it's true. I was just guessing. Hmm, damn it. Imagining the Yao Guai's gossiping like that made me feel so embarrassed. Don't make it too difficult for yourself. Think simply and make a decision earlier. Simple thinking. <laughs> That's my spiritual advice for you, yes. Ragu patted my head. Uh... Okay, little guy, take it easy. I'll be around for here for the next few days if you need me. See ya. Ragu said goodbye and started to fade away. Wait! <laughs> he was gone. Even a god shouldn't just bring up a sensitive topic and then just leave. Uh, what a weird god. I never imagined he'd bring that up. I tried, to, I tried to keep them from telling you. Why? Thought you'd be uncomfortable. Yao Guai gossip should be ignored until it fades away, so don't let it get to you. Uh, he's, he was right, Liao. You shouldn't just keep waiting for it until something bad happens. So, let's just set off to Miali as soon as possible. Senpai, please. <laughs> That's at Sanapi. <laughs> I just realized that. Hold on. This is Sanapi. <laughs> <laughs> There's a typo right there for you. <laughs> That's- hold on. Also, we get along really well. I could be with Liao forever. I- I don't know. Please don't say things like that. Leopard raised a pause and gently ta tapped Senpai on the head. It didn't seem to use any force at all, but Senpai played along and became stunned. I looked back in the, at the picnic and Bento. Ragu had already taken a bite. Did anyone else still want to eat it? So... What do we do about the Bento? None of the cats said anything, but none seemed to want the bento anymore. Uh, we were all in a mood, but I should still eat my lunch. Didn't make it for myself, after all. Picked up my chopsticks and looked down on the bento. All pieces of roasted meat were still there in a tidy row, but I couldn't help to recall how Ragu picked one up and ate it. Calming myself, I thought that Ragu was correct. It would not help to postpone making a decision. Nothing good will come of just waiting, especially for Senpai, whose powers are diminishing quickly. An early decision is vital. I always thought I could keep this up until graduation, but now it seems that time is running out. But big decisions shouldn't be made too hastily. This is my life we're talking about, and I should do what's best for me. If I refuse all three, I should do it sooner rather than, than later. However, if it was easy to make them leave, then I wouldn't have to be all stressed about it. What should I do? I raise my chopsticks about to snatch up some lunch, and suddenly... Tiger grabs the bento away. Of course, the real bento is still on my lap, but now he has a chi copy. Now he's a chi copy of it too. <laughs> he picks up a piece of meat and drops it into his mouth. I did my best to help you with the recipe, but it still turned out like this. Uh, is it really that bad? It's a bit too salty and oily. But it is your first try, Liao. Not bad for a first try. We could practice more often and make some really good food. Sure, whenever we get a chance. It's not simple to use a kitchen in our building. If I was to cook there often, everyone else would complain that I use up too much time and space. Oh, it's a communal kitchen, that's why. But, Tiger, is it okay for you to eat eat this after that god of soil already had a bite? It does feel weird, but it doesn't affect the taste. Just wanted to see how the food you cooked turned out. Oh, sorry to trouble you. No problem. After all, it was me who helped make it. Tiger swallowed another piece of meat, then another. Seeming to enjoy it all the same. Start to remember how hungry I was. Pick up a small piece of meat and put it in my mouth. It's too salty and too oily. Probably because the meat came cold. Became cold. I swallowed it down with a mouthful of rice. It tastes better with rice, but it still can't be called good. I told myself I'd do better next time. Then I tried the rest of the meal. Red veggies taste a bit metallic, and the tamagoyaki was soggy, but it was still not bad. I actually liked it soggy like this. Tiger and I uh, sat silently eating our bentos until the last piece of rice was gone. After we were done eating, I packed up the leftover trash just to keep nature clean. So to keep nature clean. Senpai pulls out a bottle of juice and passes it to, to me. I take a swig and lay down on the rock under the tree to enjoy the mountain scenery. A few clouds gathered over the far mountain, creating a fog of many different shades. White, uh, shades of white and gray that parted to give the occasional glimpse of the forest underneath. It's already spring, but on the mountain it's still a bit cold. I zip up my jacket and let myself relax a little. Some flower petals drift down on my shoulders and I brush them off into the picnic bat blanket. Liao, how about bring some petal flowers home? Back home? Where would we put them? 
Look at the flower petals on the picnic blanket. Have I made them blossom especially for me? The flowers, the flowers that fell had no stems, and I couldn't even put them on a flower vase. So I couldn't even put them on a flower vase on the table. Hmm. Flowers like this can be put to float on a plate with some water. They should keep nice for a few days. Really? I never. I imagine flowers floating, floating lazily on a plate of water on the bookshelf. They could actually be, be very pretty and tranquil. How could we get them home without crushing them? Hmm. They'd get crushed in a bag. But if we wash the bento box and put them in the box, mm, then they smell like food. Mm, I didn't bring any dish soap. Who would bring soap on a picnic? It would have made more sense to bring an extra box. Senpai gathers the flower petal into a small pile, about the size of a fist. They're beautiful, but I couldn't imagine how to keep them from pristine from during the trek back home. I watched Senpai gently gather up the flowers and thought about what to do them. Then Leopard suddenly jumped over to the trunk tree. Leopard whisked the petals into the air and then placed his paw under them as if to catch them. However, none of the petals landed on his paw. They just stayed floating in the air just above. Oh yeah, Likulao, that was a nice move. That a move that wastes a lot of power. Leopard kept the flowers floating over his paw and looked around for something. Then Senpai came around. Senpai came over with his backpack. Kulao, can you keep the flowers, the flowers floating around inside my bag? Yes. All the way down the mountain? Yes. Yeah, three cheers for Kulao! We can take them home like this! Senpai danced around happily around Cloud of Leopard. It's nice to be able to take flowers home, but is it necessary to be so excited about it? Mm-hmm, <laughs> Liao is going to decorate the room with these flowers. Yes, I will. And whenever you, you see the flowers, you'll think of me. Why would I? Because I'm the one who thought to bring them home. Well, it's actually Leopard who found a way to bring them home. But, but... Don't you think I'm more flowery? How so? Hmm... I let Senpai stay frozen in shock and I helped Leopard open the bag so he could float the, the petals inside. Leo likes flowers. Hmm, I guess so, but it's a long way to get here. I wish I could bring back some as souvenirs on the, of this trip. Hmm. I close the bag back up. It seems like just a normal bag. Are the flowers really floating around inside? Will they not be crushed during the trek home? I'm not so sure, but Lever's face remains unchanged, so I guess it's unchanged. I guess it's okay. Now that we got our souvenirs, should we head back? Mm, but it's still so early. Um, are there any more places to see? We can try that trail and see if it leads us to any pretty place. Mm, that may be, but it took us a while to get here. I was worried about going too far. Paths were paved nicely, but I'm still afraid of get getting lost. We don't know where the paths lead, and what if we walk until it gets dark and can't find our way back? Mm, it's just a bit past noon. I just don't want to go too far from the metro. Mm, I guess you're right. We wouldn't want to get lost here. We can go back to the metro and check the, tr the shopping stores. Okay. Simp and I planned the trip back down to the mountain. No one said anything about the recent encounter we had with the weird goddess oil. Uh, it would have been a bit too awkward of a topic to discuss. Well then, I guess it's time to go back to the metro. I didn't answer. Just set to packing up the remains of the picnic and the trash. Tell the three cats to follow me back down the mountain. As the path was narrow, we walk in a line down the path. Walking in a line doesn't make it easy to chat, but I also believe that everyone had some things to ponder on privately. A lot more silent than the way up, but I couldn't think of any way to start any kind of nice conversation. Ragu said that other, other Yaoguais would keep thinking that, I, that I'm keeping the three cats on purpose to take advantage of them. I don't know any of those Yaoguais, so I really shouldn't care what they think, but the way that they have mistaken my situation still has me a bit peeved. And I do care what the three cats think. Do they think that I'm just keeping them around for my own selfish reasons? I don't think that they do. At least not Senpai. He's the one who tries to turn all conversations into romantic topics, not me. Oh. Although it's true that by not promising to go with him, I am keeping him around to keep courting me. Tiger and Leopard couldn't think that way, could they? Tiger knows my troubles, but he has still stayed emotionally detached. Leopard doesn't speak much, and I hope that he doesn't have those kinds of thoughts about me. Should I ask him what he really thinks? I get the chance. I loop up my entourage, walking in a single file down the narrow, narrow and winding mountain path. 
there's some distance between each of us, so I thought perhaps that would be a good time to ask. But this topic is an awkward one to bring up. Which cat would be best to ask about spiritual romance? Oh. 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 Hmm. This a question. This a question. This a question. I mean, I'm going for his path. Hmm. Perhaps it's best to ask Tiger about such, such questions, as I have always done. Um, Tiger, what do you think about Ragu- what Ragu said? Hmm? Like I already said, you shouldn't care about any stupid rumors. It was a bit distasteful of him to tell you. Right, but you don't think I could have any of those feelings towards you, right? I'd be flattered, Leo, but I am a god, so perhaps it would be better for you to find a real boyfriend. Mm, so you think I should be with a human? It is a big difference. Just think, gods don't have bodies. Other people can't see gods, so it would be impossible to do any normal couple stuff in public. Some gods are tied to their land and can't ever leave it. You wouldn't be able to really get married. Well, I guess you probably don't want to get married. Even if you can channel spirits, maintaining a relationship with a god is a big hassle. One that is best to avoid. Yes, but... Tiger, you know... He, but Tiger, you know that I like beastmen, and there are no real beastmen, so having you as animal gods isn't bad. True, but that's only appearances. Romance can't just be about appearances. That's also true. Gods shouldn't just care for one worshipper. To be in love with one would be strange. Okay. I get that you'd rather I not get involved with a god. I understood his words, but they felt a bit detached. But... Tiger, what if I really don't go home after graduation? Do you mind if I just do whatever I would like to do? That's a weird question. Of course I would wish for you to go home, but if you have your own plans, then that's fine too. Does this mean you finally decided to go to become a dancer? No, it's just... That Brother Ragu said I should decide as soon as possible, but... Choosing one of you would mean that I would have to leave Taipei. I just said that you shouldn't get romantic with a god. I don't mean that. I mean I'd have to leave Taipei if I choose to help any of you, but I'd feel bad if I'd refuse to help. Liao, yeah, you know that you can't help everyone. If you really want to help people, you should help your family and the temple first. Many worshippers need you there. But, Tiger, I don't know if I should say this. Say what? People in hometown seem to be doing alright. All they do is pray for wealth and love and peace, and not many people have any big problems, especially not the kind that involve Yao Guais. Maybe that senpai needs more immediate help. Without any worshippers, he may... Stop joking around. Don't believe in everything that little Yaogwai says. You don't know his situation, what his situation really is. Don't call me a little Yaogwai again. What are you talking about so excitedly? Hmm? Nothing. What an awkward atmosphere. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's nothing, really. Hmm. Liao, don't take things too hard. If the old man is bullying you, just let me know. I would never bully Liao. Hmm? So what just happened? Just... I don't mean to interrupt, but just try and keep your conversation civilized. They turned back down the path, and Tiger waited until they were out of earshot before continuing. Liao, they only told you what's on the surface, but you can't promise anything until you know the real situation. I'd have to go there and see for myself. Liao, you really don't want to go home, huh? It's not like that, just... Hmm, okay. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I think this is probably my first hard decision. Because Guardian Tiger wants me to go home. But it's really clear that Liao as a character doesn't he doesn't want to be tied down. He doesn't want to go home. So Damn it. This is probably the most important question in his path too. Yep. This question determined Tiger endings. Okay. Uh, damn it. So I want the good ending with you, but first, 
before anything, I want to be honest to the character. I don't want to be tied down. I don't know. What if I just really don't feel like going home? It isn't just because of those two. Yo, I don't mind if you stay in Taipei. But you are a Jitong, the son of Lin, Lin family. It'd be too strange if you were to run off to someone else's temple. Maybe I just don't want to be a Lin family J Jitong. I came to college in Taipei to get away from my family. I understand if you don't wish to go home, but... At least don't break your ties to your family. I wouldn't, but... If you go join the Aborigin tribe, it would be just like leaving the Lin family. Same thing for that kitten. How could someone even ask of you to serve another temple? If you go there, I may not be able to stay with you anymore. So, if I go to help others, you wouldn't come along? It's not my place to go. My place is at your home. You can make it back by yourself? I'd ask you to take my statue back. And if, in theory, if I don't? Yeah, please don't be like that. I know, just, just saying. But if I stay in Taipei, would you stay with me all the time? Of course. Taipei is a big city to stay in alone. Hmm. Let me think about it. Tiger pat my head. I know you are under a lot of stress. Keep things simple for yourself. The troubles of those two cats aren't yours to begin with. But I would feel bad if I didn't help. <laughs> you know you should never have come you should never have had to carry such burdens. Hmm. We caught up to the others and walked down to the metro. Senpai seemed a bit peeved. Maybe I spent too much time speaking with Tiger, so I followed him to browse the stalls and buy some snacks. I felt like I should buy some of Senpai's favorite snacks, but then Tiger also had some things that he wanted to buy. After our conversation, I felt like I had to, so I spent all my money on those two. I'm sorry, Liku Lao. <laughs> my poor wallet. A few days after our tongue trip, it's time for a tomb sweeping festival. I should have to buy a ticket advance in advance. I should have, I should have bought a ticket in advance. But I wasn't too busy on my stuff. Now it's too late anyway, so I'll just let it go. Dad called and asked me if I when I'd be visiting. I answered that we'd have exams right after the vacation, so I wasn't planning to stay and study. So I was planning to stay and study. He didn't argue. Yeah, I understand your predicament, so I'll only ask you once. Are you sure you don't want to go home for the holiday? Yeah, I... I just don't feel ready. This is... Can we be a little honest? This is hitting a little too close right now. Um, it is Christmas time, and I decided not to go home for the holidays this Christmas. Like, I technically could have, but I really didn't put any effort into it, just because I wanted to spend the holidays not with family for once. I kind of moved down here because I wanted to get away from family. So this is this character is hitting a little too close to home. But let's let's continue. Yes, I just don't feel ready. Mm. That's a shame. I was going to introduce you to all the other gods. You mean the other guardian tigers? Like I told you, each statue holds a guardian tiger. If you like beastmen, then you'd be happy surrounded by so many. The temple back home is quite big, and there's but there's but there's so many statues. All the guardian tigers are as big as the one I've seen. There's no way they'd all fit. That'd be very amusing to pretend how all the tigers scatter around the courtyard, playing chess, gossiping, and hanging out. <laughs> Dreams come true. Maybe I should have decided to go to go home. Mm -hmm. But if I go back now, won't they all have a million questions to ask me? Maybe best if I don't. Mm. I get it, they can be a hassle. I'll just tell them in advance not to smother you all day, okay? They shouldn't ask me about returning home, about, about life in Taipei, about studies, about girlfriends. They don't even know that I'm gay and I don't want to explain about it. Mm, that's true. I'll do my best, but sometimes they do like to joke around. Anyways, you have to get used to them sooner or later. What about Leopard and Senpai? If they come along, wouldn't it be awkward? It's best if Leopard didn't come. A rat, an aborigin god coming to a Han temple is like asking for trouble. Exactly, which is... That's why I think it's best not to go back yet. I have many things to take care of first. What about summer break? 
can't stay here for the whole summer. We'll see when it comes. Alright, that's how it is. Quickly make a decision so the others can leave. I know. I don't want to turn anyone away, but if we keep this- if we keep this- eh, If we keep this up, there could be many more problems. I was always feeling nervous. Oh, maybe I should just decide already. Okay. Am I gonna say bye to Li Gulao and Senpai? Day before the festival. Liao, you for sure aren't going back tomorrow? For sure. I have time to prepare for the midterms. Why? Who cares about midterms? Unless you're going for unless you're trying for a scholarship. Even if I'm not, I still don't want to fail. Liao couldn't possibly fail, so let's go out and have some fun. I guess we could, but we have been going out a lot lately. Can we please go out just again, just this once? You agree to go out with Leopard Cat? Look, man. I spent so much money because of you. I gotta save my cash. I'm gonna save it right here. Save. No. I really do want to hang out with you, senpai. But I have to study. When you'll get to be a junior, you'll see that only freshmen care about studying. <laughs> I am a freshman, though. And while I'm a student, I should study. I was just looking for an excuse not to take me out. You insist, then I'll really use this as an excuse. Mm, fine, fine, I get it. Even if this is our last chance. Huh? What do you mean? N nothing, nothing. Keep on studying. Okay. I was just planning to go back home and get some things. Just wanted to tell you that I could be out until late. Oh, okay, I know. Okay, see you later. Oh no. Did he just... No. Later that night, Senpai didn't return. What's that kitten up to at this hour? It is getting a bit late. I'll call and see what's up. I felt like something bad happened. The phone rang, but Senpai didn't pick up. If something came up, he should have at least left a message. Maybe he's sleeping back home. Talked about getting things ready, not about going to sleep. I wanted Senpai to go home, but not like this. I turned midnight and there was no, still no sign of him. I could do nothing but take my worries to bed. Senpai, no. The next day was the first day of the festival, but Senpai still didn't return. Even if I didn't go out with him, he shouldn't just leave with no word. I was a bit peeved, but also a bit worried. I didn't know what to do. But in a time like this, how could I find Senpai? Oh no. What have I done? Guardian Tiger isn't... I don't know. I mean, I feel like I could call the other members of the dance club, but... I feel like they wouldn't be able to help very much. I mean, Cloud Leopard might be able to help. I feel like Guardian Tiger wouldn't want to help. Like, I am doing his path, though, so, like, question mark, should I go for him? Like, I feel like I should because I am doing his path. I don't know. I'm actually worried. I said I might just study, but my thoughts of Senpai's disappearance kept just distracting me. I surfed some forums, distracted myself even more from studying. Liao, <clears throat> Liao are you still thinking about that kitten? Yeah, of course. How can he just suddenly disappear? I would like to just forget about him, but it seems like you couldn't. Of course, I wished for him to leave, but not like this. What if something bad happened? I don't think anything bad could have happened. He's a guardian tiger too. Yao Guai wouldn't do anything to him, and most people can't even see or touch him when he's not possessing a body. So how can he just suddenly disappear? I don't know, and I don't care, but... Because I don't think he's in any danger. Can you guarantee that? No one can guarantee anything in this world, but if you really care so much, I can help you look for him. How? I can ask Clairvoyant and Clairaudience for help. We are far from home, but they can perhaps be found in a temple here in Taipei. Mm, Taipei should have many Mazu temples, right? Not all gods and temples are the same. 
Even if they are Mazu, it's like different classes of the same department. It would be weird to go up to an unfamiliar temple and pray to unfamiliar gods for such a small matter. Although, even a temple that is not Mazu could have a guardian tiger. The temple of the highest city, city god of Taipei has a guardian tiger. You could go there and ask him to help search. Hmm. Go to the temple of the city god? Yes, most of us guardian tigers get along quite well. Luckily, guardian tigers can be found in many temples all over. So, you won't ask clairvoyant and clairaudience? Couldn't go far away from my statue. But I could ask them to help me ask the city's guardian, guardian tiger. Hmm, so you'd ask clairaudience to go to the guardian tiger for help? Yes. So it'd be like asking a friend of a friend to go ask their friend. Would they be fine with that? Try this or try asking around the internet forums. If I try that, everyone can spread rumors about the disappeared student. I think it wouldn't be a big deal if we involved gods. I guess you're right. Should Guardian Tiger go ask other gods? Yeah, I think that would be good. I guess we have no other choice. If something bad really did happen. We shouldn't just sit around. Alright, let's ask them. Okay then, I'll go up to the roof. This may take some time, Liao. Please go back to your books. Okay. What happened? <laughs> I like halfway blinked through that transition <laughs> and my brain was like, what? Guardian Tiger pounced a few leaps up as in taking invisible stairs straight up to the roof, to through the ceiling and up to the roof. I know he's a spirit, but I never got used to these kinds of sights and I didn't know what to feel. So I just went back to studying. He just, he just went up through the roof. Bye. Leo is upset. Yeah. Even Leopard saw how nervous I was, but I promised Tiger that I studied, so I tried my best to stay focused. So, which chapters did we have to learn for the test? I'm sorry, Lee Kulao. Guardian Tiger was gone for a while. I turned dark and he still didn't return. If I had just gone up to the roof, how long could it take to speak to Clairaudience? I was so worried that I forgot to eat. My stomach rumbled. I thought that whatever, t whatever Tiger was doing, he'd probably be happy if I gave him an offering for dinner to replenish his chi. I plan on I plan to get two meals, one for him and one for Leopard. Leopard, can you go please can you please go up to the roof and ask Tiger what he'd like for dinner? Okay. It was just a moment later when they both returned. Liao, I don't need any dinner today. I have to go out for a moment. What? Go where? Ask Clairvoyant to come pick me up and take me to the temple in Taipei. Place far from your statue? That's why I need clair clairvoyance help. Luckily, the spiritual connections in Taipei are very strong. That's more important to us than physical distances. I see. Never thought the tiger could leave. It seems like it's not easy for him to go anywhere this anywhere far. This would be the first time he's ever left my side. I probably won't come home tonight. Many Yaguais only come out at night, and I will ask them about our kitten. Please stay safe. Safe? Something happens. You can put my ha put your hand in my on my statue and pray. I'd feel it. And also, don't let their abor aborigin do anything while I'm gone. I won't. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm going so you can forget about my about the kitten and study. All right. All right. I know. Then I'll be off. Guardian Tiger pat my hat head, then hurried back up through the ceiling. Seeing him leave, I suddenly felt very uneasy. You want any dinner? Okay. So, we went out to get some. Okay. After dinner, I focused back to my studies. Guardian Tiger went to go look for Senpai, so I told myself that I don't need to worry. I actually, I actually covered a lot of material. If I could do this every day, I'd be ready for exams in no time. I kept reading until it was time for bed. I showered and turned off the lights. Got myself under the covers. Hmm, Tiger isn't here to take up the whole bed. I have so much room to myself, but it feels lonely. Leopard curled up on my desk as usual. Even if he didn't come sleep on the bed, he could still use Senpai's mattress. There's no need to sleep on the desk. So... Uh... Okay. Okay, uh... <laughs> okay, I really like Lee Kulao, but... But my brain is like, Alright, but what if Tiger gets home? <laughs> <laughs> Am I, I'm, I'm gonna be a good boy I can't 
I can't betray my, my husbandos. Can't betray the husbando. I'm gonna offer him the mat on the floor. Um, well, Leopard. Hmm? Everyone is out tonight. Why don't you sleep on the mat? It's better than a desk. How about that? Leo cares about me? I mean, sure, it must not be comfortable to sleep on a desk. Thank you, but no need. Oh, why? Chuchi smell is on the mat. Oh, so I sleep on desk. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a mattress on the floor. It's not like he's sleeping on the floor directly, which like I have done a few times. But like, he's he's sleep he's essentially sleeping on a futon. Like, it's not. It's not bizarre to be like, hey, don't sleep on the desk, sleep on the on the floor in the futon thing. <laughs> he just turned me down, hard as hell. He refused my offer and fell asleep. I was nervous about the whole situation, and it took a while before I finally fell asleep. <laughs> I kind of want to see what ha- oh, okay. The next morning when I came home from buying breakfast, Tiger was there. I kind of want to see if I offer what happens if I offer the bed to him. But now I don't because Tiger's here in the morning, and that would be really, really awkward. <laughs> Next morning when I came home from buying breakfast, Tiger was there. Yo. Tiger, you're back. Yes, it wasn't easy. Like this, that kitten should be at the hometown of his human body. His hometown? Yes, even Clairvoyant couldn't find his footprints. That house has a strong barrier. There's no way to see inside or hear anything. What? What do you mean there's a barrier? I don't know. I asked everyone if I saw any of them having... Uh, uh, I asked everyone I saw if any of them have seen anything. Finally, I found a witness saying that he went inside a mansion in Kilong. Liao, don't you know of his home? No, he never said anything about it. But I feel like he didn't like it there. Senpai always eats and dresses like normal. And he thought his family was normal too. What? What is this? Um, this mansion and this barrier? Powerful people often have barriers, or gods or yaoguais guarding their mansions. If that wasn't his home, then why would he go in there? I don't know. But why were we unable to contact him if he was just at home? I don't know. He went in there himself. He wasn't kidnapped or anything. Mm, so why won't he answer phone calls or say anything? Could his family found out that he was being possessed by a guardian tiger? Even if this, even if so, it's his own problem. Don't be like that. It could be really bad. They do have a, a barrier, so maybe that family can force him out of Yan Chu Chi's body. If Yan Chu Chi wakes up, he probably won't come back here. Hmm. He's still with he's still my senpai. He would answer my calls if he was back to himself. It's not a problem. Whatever the reason is, he's in his home. And if the kitten was forced out, he's not in any danger either, so you can stop worrying. But... This is all still too weird. Mm, just wait for the kitten to call. Then, even if he was forced out, he wouldn't be too hurt by it. He wouldn't kill a guardian tiger. What's important now is focusing on your studies. Hmm... You wanna go look for senpai? Okay. Guardian tiger really wants me to focus on my studies. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Feels so shitty though, honestly. Very honestly. Like this this dude, this dude is my friend. I don't I do want to go look for him. Mm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go look for Senpai. You can't stop me. But I still I know. You want to go see for yourself before you let it go. Sorry. Told you, that place has a barrier. You really want to try calling. On a phone? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, call the house. That's a bit... Hmm. Or else what? Did we bust inside? I guess not, but I thought... It's a far ride on the bus over there. What if Senpai needs help? Help with what? He's a clever kitten. He wouldn't fall into any traps. Even if the family did find his talisman, they would probably just force him to leave. He wouldn't kill a guardian tiger after all. If that happened, Senpai would still call. He said his powers were fading. What if he ran out? Look at the flower floating on the plate of water on the shelf. I still want to make sure he's okay. 
I can't stop you, then take me with you. Of course. The leopard should come keep Liao safe, too. <laughs> of course. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I like how he just slides in slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Guardian Tiger pats me on the back. Put a statue in my bag, take my phone, and we set off. Cool. At least Guardian Tiger was understanding. I feel like it would be out of character to not do this. I like this song. I like this song. It's very peppy. As soon as it starts. Tiger led us to a park in your senpai's house. <laughs> okay, Liao. You wait here. What? Wait in this park? Do you just want to charge right into this house? It's impolite and maybe dangerous. We can handle this. I could, you know, ring the doorbell and be like, Hey, is Yanshu Chi senpai in there? I'd like to talk to him because he's my senpai and also my friend. Can I please talk to my senpai? Is it like, what? <laughs> but I... You can't fight and don't have spirit powers. I'm gonna just let you waltz in there. Is he gonna fight me? <laughs> Who's gonna fight me? You brought my statue here, so we'll do the rest. I'm not happy about it, but we have no other choice. Hmm? Leopard, can you use your powers to make... You can use your powers to make things float, right? Yes. So can you float my statue over there to their house? Yes. Good. Tiger turns back to me. Liao, I know how much you worry about others, but I also worry about you. That place may be dangerous, so please help us by waiting here. Okay. But... No matter what, I won't let you go over there. This is close enough. <sighs> All right then. All right then, Leopard, let's go. Okay. But, but... Tiger statue suddenly floated by my face. I didn't even notice how my backpack got opened. That's too obvious. <laughs> Leopard, please float it lower. O okay. So the only thing I can do is waiting nervously in the park. So they only needed me to carry Tiger statue? I guess Leopard couldn't have floated all the way from home. Maybe it would be better if I found a, a hiding place. How dangerous could it be to walk up to Senpai's house? I wish I could be stronger than just a normal person. Oh, little bro, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, Brother Ragu, what are you doing here? <laughs> I came to see you. See me? Don't you know? Rumors of you going to save your boyfriend spread like wildfire. Save my boyfriend? That's not how it is. <laughs> you did use a lot of resources, though. A lot of gauze and yagwai helped you f helped you find your kitten. Now your family guardian is charging in there f is charging in there for you, so you can't say that he's just a common friend. But I was just worried about the senpai. <laughs> no matter what you say, everyone already thinks he's your boyfriend. But he's not. <laughs> That's all right. Your other boyfriend thought you might you may get bored, so he asked me to come wait with you. Other? Other boyfriend? Yes, he cared so much about you that he was willing to call in a mountain of favors. Isn't that a boyfriend? They're just trying to annoy me. <laughs> if that isn't a boyfriend, then what is he? Your dog? That's just disrespectful. Enough of that. Don't be like that. He asked me to look after you. You can look after me in silence. That's weird, but okay, I'll stand here as you wish. Whatever. I sat peeved in the park while Ragu just stood around entertaining himself. I watched him stand there for a while until I got bored, so and that I wanted to start another conversation. Can you ask him about how he's using technology? Because I, I want to see if, if Tiger could use technology. Ragu does joke around, but he could be quite amusing. We spoke about various things, and two hours passed like an instant. Oh, look. Senpai appeared at the far edge of the park. Hey, Liao! Senpai! Liao, long time no see! Senpai jumped on over. I didn't want to, but Ragu was watching, so I held him back from pouncing on me. <laughs> Senpai, why didn't you call these past few days? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't think things would become like this. I just wanted to get some things, but my family kept, kept me locked up here. It's because of, well, our thing. They don't accept that I'm gay. I tried to object, but... They insist that no matter what I, what I do in college, in the end I must, I must marry whoever they arrange for me. They heard about us and insisted that I cut off all ties with you. So it's all because of me. N no, 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 it's, it's not you, it's because of me. 
I shouldn't have left the club. I shouldn't have let the club spread rumors. I never thought my family would react like this. They took my phone and my computer, so I really couldn't get in touch with you. I'm, I'm so sorry. So it's not your fault either. Thank you for coming so far just to find me. I came over. It was really just. It was really Tiger who went all, through all the trouble. <laughs> I like that Ragu just kind of tilts over and be like, okay. <laughs> well then, sorry to interrupt. Now that you're together again, I can take my leave. <laughs> we are not together. <laughs> see you. Okay, see you. Thanks. Laguna's laughter faded out and he, and he was gone. I'm so happy that... I'm so happy that Liao came to help me. Of course, I should also thank Kulao and the old man. They made it possible for me to sneak out. I am alright, though. I've just been grounded for a few days. Mm, the way your family grounds you is quite worrisome. Right? Huh. Well, I have no way to object. I'm glad that you came over, but I still have to go back before they notice I'm gone. Couldn't you, couldn't you just run away? That would be like cutting off all ties and burning all bridges. But... I can spill some, still spend some time with you before I have to get back. Wanna have one last date? No, but Tiger still hasn't returned. Mm, just a short one before I have to go back inside. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> These are hard. <laughs> I open the glossary instead of the save. <laughs> Mmm, I'm so mad. Uh, I want... I feel like this might be the last time I could see him. So, I don't... I don't know. But I don't want to leave Tiger and them waiting. This is a really hard decision. I'm gonna... Um... <laughs> and... oh, okay, okay, we're going. Okay, I'll stay with you a while before you have to go back. Thank you, Liao. Let's not waste any time. Senpai took my hand and ran, aw ran me away from the park. Senpai, where are we going? There's a nice place not too far from here. I've always wanted to show it to you. Really? I thought Senpai liked to go shopping. I do like shopping, but that's not good for right now. <laughs> Guess it's not. Senpai led me away from the main street and off to a small village path. He skipped and hummed and didn't seem all like someone who was a prisoner in his own home. <laughs> you fell into my world! Senpai's silliness is contagious and I can't help but smile. He always takes me to bustling places, so it's nice to just stroll around in a quiet place like this. But as we stroll along, it began to rain. Oh, it's raining. Should we find something to stand under? It's just a drizzle. Let's keep going. It didn't seem disturbed. It's very light rain. Actually, more like a wet fog that covers everything in gray. I think that it's nice to feel some light rain sometimes. Oh, Senpai, you're also not wearing any jacket. I couldn't catch a cold when Liao was here with me. What do I have to do with it? <laughs> I was just joking with me, but I did feel a bit shy about it. It's right here. Come on. Senpai ran off down the street and I followed. Yeah, look. Oh, careful. What? Uh... Uh-oh. Liao? Liao? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I... Oh, did I just get a bad end? Did I just die? Oh no, I definitely just got a bad end. <laughs> yeah, there's no music. I definitely got a bad end. Liao, it's time to get up. Don't oversleep. Don't get lazy just because midterms are over. I'm bored when you're asleep. Senpai? Yes? Why are you so flustered? Slept too much? Senpai, how did we get back here? 
Where else would we be? We've been living together for a month now. Do you mean you'd rather we not be? We li Living together? You really did oversleep. Snap out of me. It it's me, your boyfriend. But... I look around. The folding table is just over in the corner full of his stuff. As if we did live together. Or a leopard and tiger. Tiger statue isn't anywhere to be seen. Where's guardian tiger? Guardian tiger? You mean me? I mean, my family's guardian tiger. Liao, what are you saying? I am your family's guardian tiger. Huh? What? I am your family's guardian tiger. I used to be a Yagwai, but Goddess Mazu summoned me a long time ago. How could you forget that? Family's guardian tiger? Aren't you the leopard cat that possessed Yan Chu Chi's body? I only borrowed his body to be more helpful to you. How did you forget that? Are you ill? Senpai feels my, my forehead. You don't seem to have a fever. Are you playing a joke with me or what? I'm not. Even if you have amnesia, I'll still look after you, Liao. Don't worry about a thing. Maybe if you really are sick, you should get more rest. If I gets on the bed and sit against the wall, resting my head on his lap. This feels really uneasy. Yeah, it, it's... What is this? Is this how I can send you some of my chi? I'm going to place this palm on my forehead. The comfortable feel of fluffy paws is great. There's a hum of soft tune. Still don't quite get it, but the confusion in my head is melting away. Close my eyes and begin to fall asleep to the sound of a soft tune. Is he... Is he, like, replacing my memories? No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You're bad. You're, you're bad. No. <laughs> Jesus. I'm glad I said no to you the first time. Holy crap. Tiger told me to wait here and even asked Ragu to keep an eye on me, so I shouldn't just run off. We'll be back in a jiffy. When would they be back? If they're out here, then they should be returning soon. We can all have lunch together. That's not romantic. It's so hard to get a moment with Liao. We may never have another chance again. Senpai, I'm sorry. And if you're sorry, then take me on a date. But... I was hesitant. Then I saw Tiger emerge from on the far end of the park, and I waved to him. Okay, that's what I wanted to happen. I was like, yes, we can hang out. But let's wait for them, please. <laughs> Liao, you're waving at thin air. Oh, right. Stopped waving. Tiger and leopard. Tiger and leopard soon bound over. <clears throat> what a hassle. What's up with your family and all these violent Yaoguais? Leopard wasn't here. Very strong. <clears throat> Sorry about that. They're all just doing their jobs as guardians. Can't you have them heal? I have to pretend like I don't see them. But I couldn't control them either way. Mm. Sorry for all the trouble. For Liao. Yes, for Liao, not for the kid. I know. It's not like I asked you to come. Words of pride? So noisy. You commoners shouldn't just say things like that to me. Don't act like a spoiled princess. Mm. You know now that you now you know now that my family is rich, so please play along. Mm. Senpai, will you go back? I can't stay out too long. My family can get mad, but I couldn't just leave forever. How long can you stay out? Hmm. Senpai looked at Tiger and Leopard. If I can't have a date with Liao, I guess I'll just go back now. Right now? Yeah, I was happy enough to see you, just for a moment. Really, thank you everyone for coming to look for me. Thank you, Ola. <laughs> Ola, man. <laughs> I love it when I catch typos in this game. It just, it just feels really... It feels very honest. <laughs> I actually think I like seeing typos in games more often now. <laughs> Thank you, old man, and cool out. I said I didn't do it for you. You're welcome. <laughs> See you later. I'm grounded right now, but they will have to let me go back to school. I'll be back at the end of this vacation. See you then. Senpai, see you. Bye-bye. Mm. Senpai waved and turned to go back home. We'll go home now, too. I got the replay option in the main menu whenever you finish an ending. 
I don't want to even think about that ending again. That was... Mmm... <laughs> it's okay, I like the typos. <laughs> Liao, yes? I want you to focus on your study, but don't think you need the Don't you think the room needs a tidy up? What? Look at the room. Mm, messy indeed. I usually wouldn't go this far when Senpai was here. He also helped clean here, so there was never a problem. However, Senpai's not here right now, and I'm back to my old days, leaving everything the way it is. His clothes have been left here for three days. Stinky like hell. There are takeaway boxes in the trash. Shouldn't you take it out every day? Uh, I got it. Got it, but I'm lazy. These, kind of, these days I'm kind of out of my mind. Anyway, clean up quickly, now. Okay, okay. Start to clean his hold. So many things to put away, keeping me busy for over an hour. Liao, you forgot to turn on the washing machine. I did it for you. Hmm? Ah, oh, thanks. I could turn on the washing machine? How do you do it? Poultry effect? Kitten's desk also needs a clean, but his stuff it's his stuff, but everything is inside your but everything's inside your room. And the quilt on the floor. We could put it away while Kitten is not here. You don't really need use it. But somehow I feel Senpai won't come back if I put if I pack up the map from the floor. Aw. Oh no. <laughs> so why did Tiger before become my wife or my mom? Well he's not he's not either. He's like my <clears throat> he's my childhood sweetheart. He <laughs> He's like my my like weird, estranged family member who is older and taking care of me. <laughs> Except he's not my family member, so I'm allowed to have romantic feelings towards him. Except I'm not, because he's a god. I... Mmm. This is like a little minor thing. But, um... I will pack it up. Tiger's right, Senpai's not here, it makes sense to pack up the map for now. <laughs> he used... He called himself my childhood sweetheart, and I was like, oh, don't, I don't think that's what you're trying to say, but, I mean, if that's what you're saying to me right now, I'll take it. <laughs> kind of blocking the entrance. Every time I have to step across, which is kind of inconvenient. Okay, I'll pack it up. Put the man to the wardrobe, tidy up Senpai's belongings at the corner. And I clean the entire room thoroughly as some exercise for my body, relaxing my mind from study. Ah. <sighs> Not bad. Feel more energetic after after the cleaning. <laughs> the background stays the same. <laughs> right. Clean your room more often from now on, okay? I it's that's actually something I need to do because my room's a mess. My roommates are actually very not happy about it, and I really should do something about it. And I do. I, I've been cleaning it little by little, but then I make more of a mess. I feel you, Liao. I feel you. It doesn't give me more energy, but it won't always have this much stress prior to the midterm tests. I don't have the drive to keep it clean. You must. A clean and tidy environment is very important for your physical and mental health. Instead of fighting illness, it's better not to get sick. In short, I'll be urging you to clean up your room from now on, understand? <laughs> it's not like I don't want to clean up. It feels rather awful to have someone constantly stare at me. Liko Lao just... I just want that to be your entrance animation every single time you show up. Liao is tired. I'll help. <laughs> no need. Thanks for the offer. Leopard's help must be some spiritual phenomenon. He will be exhausted. It's more, many people will be scared to death just seeing my, to <laughs> my tool clean on its own. I better not trouble him. Actually, I better ask him not to help. This kind of offer really touches me. This time I can only take, take the will for the deed. Last night of the tomb sweeping holiday, Senpai's back. Senpai, how are you doing? Did your family? Nope, family's family. They did overshoot it, but they won't hurt me. Just many things are rather awkward at the moment. What is it? They don't want me to live with you. I'm not sure what their problem is. It's not like we're living together and doing nasty stuff all the time, but they seem to think so. Their words were pretty harsh, and I can't really argue. So, Senpai, are you planning on moving out? Hmm. I guess I have to. Lie low for a while. Hmm. Kittens leaving is a good thing, right? I know the old man will be pleased about it. 
I just can't accept it. We don't have any other options. Anyway, it won't be long. I'll try to convince my family. Can you convince them? I'm not sure. In the end, things will mend. It takes time, so... I'll get ready for moving out. Liao, don't be sad. Hmm. Let me see. My stuff. Hmm? Where's my bed? Uh, I packed it away during the cleaning. It was hard to... Uh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> it makes sense. Hmm. That should be everything. Oh no. <laughs> I feel bad that I put his bed away. I feel really bad. Okay, the replay inter interface provides commentary on some on certain bad endings. Okay. Not the one we just got, but okay, some of them. Okay. Mm, that should be everything. I'm off. Liao, see you tomorrow at school. Senpai. Uh. Although hesitating, I decide to ask. If Senpai's moving back, then what about going to Miaoli and reju to rejuvenate the temple? Hmm? No problem, it's not like we're never going to see each other again. I can still come and ask you. Besides, <laughs> the problem will be solved once Liao agrees to go with, to Miaoli with me. Liao, will you? Uh, right. Liao hasn't made up his mind yet. No point in talking about it right now. See you. Mm, senpai. See you. Bye, Shuchi. Mm. Senpai leaves, just like that. Although, Senpai said see you tomorrow. I'm already used to messing around this month. I'm already used to his messing around this month. It's difficult to just adjust to his sudden leaving. I didn't know Kitten could be this outright. Though he would be entangled. Shuchi, not happy. Leopard can feel Senpai is unhappy? I know Senpai doesn't want to leave, but I can't stop him. Senpai, how did we get here? About Senpai, should I just talk to the other two big cats? I'm gonna talk with Tiger, just because, I mean, that's what I'm doing. I... I'm going for Tiger's ending. I'm gonna just talk to him, with him about it, but... This whole thing just... I wonder if there's a harem ending. I'm just... It feels like there is. It really does. Like, an everybody is happy ending. I kind of want to do that eventually. But I'm sure that one's a little harder to get. Because it usually is. Tiger. I know what you want to say. Let him. Him staying here was trouble. As he said, you guys can still see each other. Nothing is wrong. But it is because of his family. Senpai doesn't want to leave. Should we just let him go like this? Or what? Beg his family to let him stay? My call will only make things worse. That's right. How can you stop him? This is a human's domestic problem. Even an upright official finds it hard to settle a family quarrel. It will be the same for gods. Even goddess Mazu can't solve this problem. Give it up. I find it hard to accept. You were the one that wanted him to leave. I've changed my mind. I don't want him to leave like this. Then like what? Marry me to marry part? Why well, you can't go to Miaoli with him anyhow? Right now you are ruled by your passions. It is actually a great opportunity to say no to him. You don't need to feel guilty or just imagine he's kicked out by me. What about that? You will have nothing to do with it. That's why I said imagine. I'm asking you to let him go. Blame me whenever you regret, okay? How could I? How could I do that? <sighs> Liao, your wavering is quite annoying. Don't you know that? I know. It's good. If there's anything you want to say, tell him tomorrow in person. Yes. I go to bed, covering myself with my quilt. It's still early and I can't fall asleep, but I can't really do anything right now. Okay, so there's a perfect ending on a certain cat's root. Winky face. I mean, going through Guardian Tiger's root feels like he would be the one that has the harem. I'm going to call it the perfect ending. I don't want to call it the harem ending. That seems disrespectful. 
that has like the perfect ending. But um mm. I haven't done Likulai either. I don't feel like I feel like Senpai just wouldn't have the perfect ending. Senpai is just his his story seems a little more straightforward. I don't know if Likulai would have a great ending either. Uh yeah, I feel like it would have to be Guardian Tiger who has the perfect ending. But I don't know, I'll see. I'm probably gonna play this game a lot. I actually really like this game. Go to bed covering myself with my quilt. Still early and I can't fall asleep, but can't really do anything right now. Under the warm cover, I think quietly. Maybe I should have asked Senpai to leave at the very beginning. There wouldn't be so much trouble now. It's been one month. How can I simply say I wish I didn't become close with Senpai? Wow, has it really only been one month? I forgot that we went ev we went out every single weekend because of Senpai. Oh man, that means I don't really have a, a reason to go out on the weekends. This morning I was kind of looking forward to Senpai coming to wait for me, but he didn't. His dorm is in the completely opposite direction of my home. It'll be a pain in the ass if he waits for me to go to school together. Most of today's classes have exams soon. Senpai can't make time for to be a visitor at, uh, at these classes. However, he doesn't show up even on the one that doesn't have an exam. Can't find him during the lunch break. Eventually, we meet in the cafeteria. Liao, it's been a long day. How'd your exams go? Tsundere confirmed. They were okay. What about Senpai? Any exams? Of course, but not today. I didn't take many courses in this term, as you know. That's why Senpai could come to my classes every day. I wonder if I could studies? Isn't it too late to think about it? How come Senpai didn't show up all day? <laughs> Liao misses me? I'm here now. Senpai is waiting for me here? Because Liao pretty much only eats in the cafeteria. Cafeteria is cheap. Many restaurants are all around school are also cheap. Liao's just too lazy to try a new place. I'm in my freshman year, not so familiar with food spots nearby. Cafeteria has many options and nothing is bad here. <sighs> Liao is always eating alone. That's very solitary. I'm not eating alone. In the past month I was eating with you. Besides, our topic is a secret between us. If I'm gone, ha Liao has someone to eat with? Huh? Senpai. What's wrong? Why are you so serious all of a sudden? If I just said if I'm gone, shouldn't it be if you go to Miali with me? Well, if Liao comes to Miali, of course. We'll be eating together, but if Liao doesn't go, you probably don't have friends to eat with, am I right? Eating with Kulao and the old man is not bad, but they're invisible to most people. You need some normal friends, otherwise you'll be, seemed as a, you'll be deemed as a weirdo. Senpai, I thought it was a matter of life and death. Why do you sound like you're leaving? N no, I think I've been trying too hard to chase Liao, but I s still I can't convince you. Why not? Why not change a method? Maybe keeping some distance is better. As you said, Liao, it's a matter of life and death. You're not going with me even if, even knowing this, aren't you? This... I have to leave school. If you don't come, I might become a street-side Yagwai and vanish. Don't threaten Liao with this. The disappearance of your Fudagong's power won't cause you to vanish. Coming a Yagwai is far from disappearing. You can always find another Fudagong. No one wants to destroy you as long as you're being good. Changing a boss is not easy. I've been following my Fudagong for a long time. I don't want him to lose power. With power or not, God of Soil is God of Soil. He'll, he'll revive one day when someone brings offerings. Or it's really sad to see him being forgotten. Many people in this world are pitiful. Why don't you help them all? That's why I came to Liao. I know it's hard. In Liao's situation, leaving a school year or two is not an easy thing to do. I'm under great pressure from my family. I know how difficult it is to fight against the family. Liao's problem is not leaving school, but making your family accept you le you're leaving school, isn't it? I didn't know how hard it could be with Yanshu Chi's memories until this return to his hometown and his body. It's completely sobered me up. I feel bad for asking Liao to do the same thing. No family can accept this without a major change in life, but if such a major change happens to Liao, you probably could never go home again. So, I'm actually thinking if I should give it up. It's okay t for me to become a Yao Guai again. Our temple will be desolate, but no one would die from it. 
Senpai is giving up? I don't want to be a quitter. Is Liao coming to Miaoli? Miaoli? Right. Giving up or not doesn't really matter. I'm thinking to keep some distance. Liao and I can be mere friends. Liao gets an opportunity, you can come and help. But if Liao can't help, it won't hurt too badly when we have to say goodbye. Senpai, it's, it's a bit late for saying that. <laughs> Is Liao already in love with me? Not at all. Senpai, don't spoil the atmosphere. But I don't want to put too much pressure on Liao's shoulders. Don't worry. We're still close. I'll come chat with Liao every so often. This is exam week and I'm gonna be busy, so... So is Liao, right? Mm -hmm. Focus on exams. These things can wait. Okay, forgot about the <laughs> depressing topics. Let's go eat. Cool out, let's go. <laughs> Senpai drags Leper to a juice bar. You wanna buy some drinks? I'm kinda speechless and then I feel worse. And then I feel worse. Tiger tries to comfort me and goes to buy dinner with me. Senpai and I both get food and sit down. I'm too tired to know what I'm eating. Senpai seems happy, trying hard to keep the atmosphere heated. Even Tiger jokes along with him, as if performing some stand-up comedy. However, I don't understand why I'm feeling so down for Senpai's leaving. I've been wanting them to leave. Today's midterm exam of math. I believe I've been working hard for this exam, but I don't think I can pass it. I'm very bad at maths, and I don't know how well my learn effect has been with my mind occupied by other matters. After all, I did leave maths to the last of the review. I look at Leopard, who's looking around curiously in this depressing classroom as if he'd never seen so many people with writing papers together. <laughs> he had his eyes around in the previous exams, but I didn't pay, too, pay much attention. Today's situation... That's a tiger who's reading, the last ro reading in the last row, paying no attention to me. Good opportunity for me. I don't want to fail maths. All I need is to pass. Ask Leopard to help. Should I ask Cloud and Leopard to cheat? No, no cheating. No cheating. <laughs> no cheating. Hold on, I'm gonna save though. <laughs> no cheating. Get good. No. Leopard has no idea cheating is bad. I can't fool him. <laughs> if I fail, I fail. Failing one subject is not so big a deal. The pity, but I can convince myself not to cheat and continue with the test. Bell rings as I more or less finish the paper. I've skipped many questions. If I answer the rest okay, I should pass. Resign to my fate. I pray to Emperor Wen Chang before packing up my stationery and leaving. <laughs> Go to cafeteria as usual after classes. That's Randolph. Ah, Tian Liao. Long time. I forgot what voice I gave you. Hmm? Randolph. You here to chat with the professor? Why is he always in our school? Uh, how come that bubbly guy is not here today? Hmm, Senpai is... Senpai made it clear that he will keep distance from me and we'll just be friends. I don't know how to explain it to Randolph. He... I don't know. There's an embarrassment in my voice, which seems to have caught Randolph's attention, but he didn't pursue. I see. That's okay. By the way, Tian Lao, do you have a minute? I have some questions to ask. Uh, sure, what is it? Hmm, it'll take some time. Can we sit down and talk? Dinner's on me. Huh? Why is he being, being so serious? I'd like to interview you. Huh? Interview? Yes, it's not carry to common, it's not common to carry three gods. I have some understanding of Yao Guais, but I don't know much about gods, not to mention gods of aborigines. If you don't mind, I'd like to consult the two behind you as well. May I? Uh, current situation. I might, might say yes if Senpai was here, but now I'm not really in the mood. Tiger and Leopard team okay with it? Actually, Tiger looks rather excited. However, yes. Yes, except the interview. Yes. Especially since Tiger looks excited. Hmm. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead with your questions. Teach you, teach you Yagwai some rules and it'll be easier for us as well. Tiger, that sounds a bit... It's okay. He's a god after all. So, if you don't mind, I'll begin. Randolph takes out a notebook and begins to ask me about my hometown. Honestly, I don't know why one god's different statues have different meanings or any stuff like that. What do gods look like when they go out? Who's in a higher position? It's only gods know themselves. Or, why did you ask? Hmm? Oh, why'd you ask? Hmm. These resources are great for my work. And warn my Yagwai friends to behave. 
course, I'll change all the details in my creation. I won't just copy everything. For your creation? For your creation, you don't need to refer to reality too much, do you? Creation is creation. Yes, but knowing the actual situation helps me make an outline of the story. Authentic feeling is very important. No matter what, as a creator, I think it's necessary to learn more knowledge of different aspects. Very true. This is the only way to, to give my work remarkable depth. Mm, that's right. That creation is wild, making up anything and commending it to reason, so it's not that simple. Mm, by the way, how should I address you? I don't want to be rude by calling you Guardian Tiger all the time. Randolph asked Tiger. Uh, I don't have a title. Really? Uh, okay, I thought... Randolph glances at me. Uh, how about that? Uh, uh, nothing. I shouldn't bring it up if Liao was not aware of it. He probably thinks you picked a name for me. Hmm? Usually a god gets his title from his deeds, like helping many worshippers or saving many lives. Worshippers sometimes will pray to Jade Emperor for promotion. For a promotion in the God of Gratitude. However, some gods get their name or nickname from their worshippers, indicates a very close relationship between the god and his worshipper. <laughs> and also strengthen the connection between them. I'm guessing um, Randolph and uh, Sh uh, Shuchin Senpai would be still kind of anthropomorphic because they are possessing a human body, so it would be kind of that kind of in between human thing, but I'm sure all the spirits in Yao Guai are all completely based on the fact that Liao is a gay furry. <laughs> it can also strengthen the connections between them. Everyone is in fact an animal man. A manimal, if you will. Uh, it can also strengthen- yeah, okay. Usually nature will take its course. It's rather ought to pick a name for God for no reason. Actually, I thought about giving you a name. Calling you Guardian Tiger can't differentiate you from other Guardian Tigers. That's okay. There are so many guardian tiger statues in the world, most of which have no name. Those with a title from the worshippers either have divine power or great achievements. Perfectly fine for me to not have a, ti a title. Will your divine power develop if you have a title? That's right. But God's name comes by chance. I don't want a title just for the sake of having a title. I see. You don't want it yourself. Understood. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Randolph is implying something. Let's on, Mr... How uh, Leopard also has no name? Leopard took his time to think about it. No, Likulao. Likulao? That means Cloud of Leopard in Rukai language. Kitty Munch Munch. <laughs> Got it. I'm not familiar with a Rukai tribe. Is it normal for a god to not have a name? Normal. I see. If it's okay, I'd like to ask a few questions about the Rukai tribe. Randolph starts to interview Leopard. It's full of difficulties due to Leopard's poor Mandarin. Are you sent by Ad 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 Someday I'll be able to read that impromptu without needing to stop and remember each part of those letters. Are you sent by Idridrigani? <laughs> I don't know how to say that with an American accent. Idridrigani. To Taipei? Yes. What kind of god is this, Idridrigane? An invisible god from a very powerful place. Powerful place. Hmm. Tian Lao, do you know what that means? Uh, not really. How can I know? Leopard never mentioned this to me. Actually, I suddenly remember that I have asked Jia Hao about Idridrigane. I wonder if he has found anything. Uh, I need to make a phone call. Hmm, of course. Take out my mobile and dial, and dial Jia Hao. <laughs> uh, hello, Jia Hao. Are you at school? Mm, no, what's the matter? Uh, I have a question. Have you found anything about Idridringane? Please stop making me say that. Idridringane. Mm, you mean that snake god? I've got something, but not much. Why? Anything urgent? Mm, kind of. Tell me what you know. Okay, I don't have much information, but this should be important. What this? What this? Princess Baleng. Okay, well, I'll read that. If I'm not mistaken, the snake god is a husband of Princess Baleng. Hmm? Princess Baleng? That Princess Baleng? Don't much know much about the legends of Rukai, but I heard about Princess Baleng. There's a game design, game design based on her. Never tried it, though. Yes, that Princess Baleng. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, pretty cool. Besides this, do you know if Idrindringan is related to any location somewhere big? Hmm, location? 
think you're talking about the Rukai's tribe, Sacred Place. I don't remember the name. Anyway, you won't know it. Hydrodrangana is the god of, in charge of the Sacred Place. Let's see, Sacred Place. Yes, the Sacred Place. No one can understand by leopard's words. Okay, anyway. A friend of mine wants to interview about the Rukai tradition. Could you help? Hmm? Uh, I don't know those either. Only because you asked for me to check. Hold on, why is your friend doing an interview with you? Ah, uh, damn it, he's interviewing Leopard, but I can't just say Leopard doesn't speak much Mandarin. Hmm, no, nothing. I've been working on it recently. We we're just talking, and it's okay if you don't want. Not that I don't want, just... It's okay, I'll tell him no for now. See you. Hmm? -mm. I know before Jia Hao could answer. Huh, that was close. Uh, sorry to trouble you. Not at all. It was my fault. Mr. Leopard doesn't seem available for the interview. I'll come another time. Hmm, not much I can do. Leopard seems very eager about the interview, but he can't talk clearly. Indeed, explaining these complicated folklores would be too hard for him. I'll talk with him and Jia Hao more when I get a chance to figure this out. Thank you very much for today. Dinner's on me. Anything anything else you want? Mmm, that one. Tiger. <laughs> I, I was I was kidding. Eventually Randolph gets Tiger the food he wants. Damn, I'm the one who, to actually eat it. <laughs> Tiger is the one who has the uh There are uh line stickers and he has the 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 post eating belly one that I love seeing <laughs> line stickers because that's me after I eat dinner every day. Things happened in the past few days are, ex are exhausting. The high pressure from exams, I need to relax some with some casual reading. Only Tiger comes with me today. We just take a book and we are interested in and sit down in the central reading area. My pick is a collection of short stories. Thought light novels should be easy to read, but I just can't. <sighs> I notice that I've already heaved a sigh. Yo, what's the matter? Uh, bye dogbutt. Look around, not many people are in the bookstore, possibly because it's exam week. So I lower my voice and speak. Hmm, nothing. I feel a bit blue. Perfectly normal for a young boy to feel blue. Because of that kitten. How is it normal? And yes, it is because of Senpai. He chose to leave himself. I don't understand why it's upsetting. However, one's mood can't be explained. Tiger strokes my head in the back of my neck. It was very comfortable that I closed my eyes. Yeah. Huh? Don't worry. No one is around. Keep your eyes shut and listen. To be honest, seeing you unhappy for the kitten makes me sad. Huh? Why? I want to ask, but I remember Tiger just asked me to listen. I don't really know why. Maybe because you're one of my worshippers, but you care so much about the other two. The kitten is pretty much a yagwa in my point of view. The matter that he asked you to help was... Not that severe, but he used it to become close with you. Think you care this much about him. Will you be willing to return to your hometown if something happens to me? N th that was a joke. I'm not saying you need to go back to your hometown. Tiger stroke stops. But... Hmm. I put my hand on Tiger's palm. If someone's watching, he probably sees me putting my hand on my neck. I've been strained these days because of Senpai forgetting the Tiger's feelings, but in the beginning I felt worried about Senpai simply because... It's what? Do I really have a crush on Senpai? Or I just don't want my happy daily life to change? How much do I actually care about Tiger? Tiger asked me not, not to talk so I keep my questions to myself and it is kind of escaping. I continue to read, finding it harder and harder to focus on the book. No. Oh. I made Guardian Tiger sad. I want to give him a hug. Friday evening, Senpai again shows, shows up in the cafeteria waiting for me. Yeah, well, tomorrow will be weekend. You know what I want to say. How can I know? <laughs> Let's have a date. Senpai, we're not really in a relationship. It can't be a date. I'm pretty pleased that Senpai took the initiative to visit me. However, I don't want to act as if we're in a relationship. A date before a relationship starts. Isn't it normal? If we don't know each other well enough, how can we tell if we're right for each other? We already know each other very well. Senpai, stop making up excuses. Mm, anyway, I'm already not staying in Liao's home. Spend the weekend with me, please. 
please, Liao, okay? Senpai looks at me with tears in his eyes. I don't have the heart to disappoint him. Mm, this time I want an alone date with Liao. The old man and Kulao can't follow us. Mm, that makes me worry. I can't let the two of you. Liao goes shopping. I want to go. No way. I'm already forced out of Liao's home. All I want is a date with Liao alone. Please don't be a third and fourth wheel. What wheel? Liao doesn't fancy you. Not yet. That's exactly why we're going on a date. <laughs> Senpai, isn't that a reverse of a normal order? Am I right? How awkward would it be for a couple in a relationship to realize they don't get along? We should date before entering a relationship. <sighs> kind of makes sense. So, Liao, let's have a date. No. Sorry, Senpai, I'd rather not. What? You're turning me down? You turn my friends down. Girl, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. <laughs> Not like that. I'm so thrilled by Senpai's invitation, but I can't go on a date with you. I want to remain a good friend of Senpai's. Dating is a little bit. Uh, what about a date between two good friends? It's not a date between... It, it's not a date if it's two, between two friends. Mm, let's go on and have some fun together then. That sounds better, but Senpai is still thinking about a date, right? Still no? Senpai, I'd be, ha I'd be glad to have a meal with you and go to school together with you. But weird that we're heading towards something on purpose. Even if I agree to help in Miaoli, you don't have to date. So you'll go to agree, you agree to go to Miaoli as a good friend of mine? That's another question. See, I knew it. <laughs> Fine. As I said, let's not rush it. If Liao doesn't want it now, I can wait. I can stay and chat gladly if you didn't if as if you didn't just refuse my date. I'm going. Liao, yeah, see you on Monday. Hmm, Senpai. Senpai leaves fast like the wind. We don't eat together? He said he didn't want to stay and chat after being turned down. That's it. Sorry. Except I can't hear it anyway. I walk in the cafeteria to take a seat, feeling lost. Oh, I'm sorry, senpai, but I don't want to go alone. I don't want to date you. I'm trying to go for someone else. Every Sunday, there's a self-practice event at the club. A few people show up due to the midterm exams, but it's a great way to relax for those who have finished their exams. Since I got my midterms done early, uh, I might as well come here and do some warm-ups. I didn't know senpai would come until I meet him. Until I met him there. Yesterday's awkwardness continues to today, but we managed to say hi quite casually. Club head starts to teach us the dance at work to perform the club show. I learned though I have, though I know I have little chance in performing on stage. Leopard takes this dance to heart, learning earnestly. He imitates the club head perfectly. I think it'd be great if he could join the performance, though. He might scare a few at first. Okay, everybody, practice on your own. Come to me or the car. Or the cod cadres, cad caters. That's a word. If you encounter any question, I'm sorry. That's a word I don't know. Um, gotta look that up. What's a cater? Uh, cadre. Yes, cadre. Uh, a small group of people specially trained for a particular purpose or profession. Cool. Cadre. That's a new word. Shuchi Senpai is on one of the is one of the cadre standing in the front. We were together all the time except for exams and the holiday. When did Senpai practice this dance? Yeah, are you all right? Why are you lost? Why are you here lost in a trance instead of practicing? Did you miss some moves? Should I do it again for you? Senpai poses for the first move. Uh, I'm okay. I was just thinking about something. Hmm. As you come to the club, relax and have a good time. Okay. Ready? Go. Senpai urges me to practice. I have to follow him. Leopard, Leopard comes and dance with us too. They dance by my sides and their moves flow better than mine. I know Senpai is good. How could, how could Leopard suddenly become so good at dancing? I can hardly hit the beats. It's my first time. I can't become familiar with it so quickly. Some moves are way too advanced for me. I can only kind of skip them. Hmm, this is wrong, like this. Yeah, look at me. Why is, why is Leopard teaching me now? My confidence collapses. Never mind, it's not the first time. Some moves become easier after Senpai and Leopard told me the tricks. Still can't do those very advanced moves, even knowing the secret. 
One part of the practice is mere show off that I can't do it at all. The dance is for the end of semester performance, so of course it must be glorious, but it's still too hard for me. Can't be agile, agile like Senpai or overcome physical laws like Leopard. <laughs> After several attempts, I failed attempts, I decided to quit. No, I can't do it. I guess that's it. Take a break. Liao, yeah, again. I don't know why, but Leopard asked me firmly to dance again. I don't quite get it, but I see Ernest on Leopard's face, so I decided to dance again from the beginning. Coming to a tricky move, I know I can't do it, but I give it a try. This time I succeed with ease. Ah! Hmm? Hold on, you. My body feels incredibly light. These moves I can't do usually, like spinning or a handstand, but I do it perfectly now as if I had no weight. Continue with the dance and my body flows smoothly and naturally. Coming to the second hand half of the dance, there's another showing off part. Dance so well, my moves, my moves perfectly accurate like a standard example. But this is my body. My feeling changes from su surprising to inconceivable. There's no way I can do this, but how? The dance is over before I figure out what's happened. Bo figure out what happened. I maintain the final, po final pose, hearing a big wave of applause. <laughs> wow, Liao, you're great! How'd you learn so fast? You must have practiced in secret. I knew Shuchi Senpai is. Last clubmate is taken away by the others. <laughs> I stand there panting and confused. I can't do these moves. I can't do these moves, and I know it. No way I can make such a big progress in no time. What's happening? Notice awkwardness on Senpai's face and the obvious anger in Tiger's eyes. How? Uh, Liao, Liao, you dance so well. Come here. Someone in the cra crowd whistles. I follow Senpai to a corner. Uh, Kulao, you've crossed the line. What did you do? I told you not to touch my kid. Do you think it matters not... <laughs> Do you think it doesn't matter as it's not an evil deed? Hold on, so what happened exactly? Liao, Kulao just took control of your body. Did you notice anything? Ah, uh, I know I can't do those moves. Was I was controlled? I didn't feel anything. My body was moving itself, and I was already very familiar with the stance. I didn't think too much. Just... no? Mm, a little bit of help is fine, but you dance for him completely. I don't really care, but the old man won't accept it for sure. Of course. Helping him when we're, when we're alone is fine, but there are many clubmates there. Isn't it odd for him to suddenly dance so well? What do they think when Liao dances terribly in the future? How could you not think about it? What's wrong with you? Oh my god. Don't, don't yell at Li Liao, he just didn't know. You want Liao to never perform this dance again in front of others, or you'll help him dance perfectly from now on? Or are you attending all classes of classes at the dance club on his behalf? Do you have any idea what you just did? Drop it, old man. It doesn't really matter. I'll I'll tell them I've be, I'll been I've been teaching Liao. Liao danced extremely well the very last time. How can you explain it to those who watched his previous performance? Won't they make random guesses? What if they reach some odd conclusion? Okay, Kitten has been teaching him, but it will add more rumors to the relationship. You don't think about the consequences? How could you be a god like this? If something goes wrong, Liao might have to quit from the dance club and you're ruining Liao's dream. Jesus Christ. Calm down, Guardian Tiger. Ruining Liao's dream. Uh, I don't think it's that serious, but looking back at it, it is kind of awkward. I can't practice this dance in the club anymore. So many of them just saw my last performance. Just tell them that it was beginner's luck. Honestly, just be like, beginner's luck or something i don't know you can make an excuse don't be don't be mean to Likulao, please he just didn't know it won't make any sense when i suck at this dance what if they ask me to go on performance if that happens i'll have to beg leopard to help me again you might think i'm super good at it and want me to perform on stage It'll never end dancing is a combination of many moves i just performed that dance so perfectly it's gonna be odd when i can't do other dances I my head just thinking about how to explain it to others. Not that bad. In the worst case, I don't have I don't come to the dance club again. I can learn dancing anywhere. You need a place and a teacher. Good from the dance club, you're, are you going to pay for someone to teach you? I don't think it's that bad. You should be able to get over. You might get away this time, but what about next time? After. Clearly he knows that he did something wrong. Like, don't... Give him a break can't figure out how modern life works, just don't stand in the way. 
Who knows what the next will be? Liao's life will be messed up. There, there, old man. Calm down. Go away. Don't care what this kitten says. Mm, kitten again. Can't let this continue. This stuff, if this kind of stuff happens again, who knows if it can be fixed again. Can't risk it to allow you to stay. Let me tell you one more time. It's not Liao's responsibility to help you or have you by his side. You are to destroy his life. Stay away from him. Just for Liao's sake. Understood? Tiger, don't be so mad. Liao, shut up. You heard me clearly and you should know what to do. <laughs> Drop it. Ku Lao, the old, man the old man is angry right now. You... Understood. Leopard, I leave. Mm, hold on, you... If I can stop, Leopard is gone. I can't tell which direction he's taken. He's pretty much vanished. Mm. But, Tiger, it's not necessary. Sorry, Leo. It's for your own sake. At least one problem is solved. You, know, you no longer need to worry about going to Wutai. How could you... He was trying to help me. He wants to help you, but he might hurt you in the end. Because he can't quite understand the situation himself. We better stay on guard before it's too late. But if you drove him away like this... I... I won't have my chance to say thanks to him. Sorry. But, Liao, this is... Tiger didn't finish the sentence. We look at each other without a word. Wow. This is awkward. Mm. That's enough. Don't be so, so stubborn. Maybe Leopard will come back. The old man will be able to make his points clear, and Liao can have a chance to speak to. Don't be so nervous. Hmm. Maybe, but what if Leopard doesn't come back? I want to go back. That's not bad. Liao staying here might not might not be. Uh, that's not bad. Liao staying here might not be in mood for the practice for more practice. Uh, that I'm sure that was a sentence that made sense. My brain just didn't parse that. In this case, I better take this opportunity to tell Liao. I've asked to, for tomorrow off. I'm leaving tonight. You know, going home to continue the quarrel with my family. Yan Chu Chi is already in bad terms with his family. Not sure how nasty it will get this time. And I plan to I plan to leave. Hmm? Why so sudden? It's not out of nowhere. We've been communicating these days, but the argument is getting intenser. I have to face it sooner or later. I need to go back for a few days. This is Yan Shu Chi's family affair. Don't you get involved. But I have something to do with it, don't I? That's right, but you might make things much worse. I'll deal with it, just to let you know. You won't be seeing me in the following few days. Whatever, you can go back now. Even Senpai. My heart was disturbed, not sure what to do. Anyway, go back now. Hmm? Tiger. Leopard hasn't come back yet. Sitting in front of my computer and browsing websites aimlessly, but not reading anything. Just don't feel like doing anything serious. It's getting late, but I'm not sleepy at all. Although I'm pretty much doing nothing on the computer. I don't want to leave it. Sorry, Leo. What's wrong? What's the apology for? There's no way I can do this now. There's no way I can do this, but how? I didn't expect this from Tiger. I did want to get rid of him, and I saw that as an opportunity. He's driven off. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feeling. Do I look very sad? I'm a bit upset. Leopard is gone without a word about coming back. Senpai is leaving as well. How can I not care? I'm not blaming it on Tiger. He mentioned a bit a while ago that he wanted them to leave. He was very angry, but he didn't do anything wrong. I'm just... not adapted yet. This is just too sudden. Yo. You want them to come back? I... don't know. I feel happier with them around. However... They're just pleasing me because they want me to help them, right? I had no intention to help them. Joining the destroy is just a bit too much. I'd be taking advantage of them. Don't think about helping them or not. You still enjoy their company. It's hard to say. I'm pretty happy, but also contract contradicted. 
you want. I can go back and get them back. At least the average in. No need. He'll come back if he wants to. You can't make him come back against his own will. Yeah, do you think I'm too fierce? <laughs> Alright, this is your personality? <laughs> do you think I'm controlling too much? A little. I know you're doing it for my own good. You could choose, would you rather be without us? Don't talk like that. Okay for you to stay with me and only me. Still thinking about it. I want you to go back, but I understand many other guardian tigers are extremely traditional. And if they chat with you, you won't enjoy it. But if you don't go back, after all, you are the son of the Lin family. Will you stay away from home forever? I know driving them off might not be the best for you, but I can't accept you going to either Miaoli or Wutai. When the aborigine controlled your body, I was about to explode. Why? You are a Jitong. He pretty much possessed your body. I couldn't hold back. Although... He was moving your body with the spirit power. Not as bad as possessing you, but I still can't accept it. When it comes to kids with weak spiritual powers, such as your brother, we can only control them through this method. Looking at him manipulating your body as if you are his Jitong, I couldn't help. I don't think you understand this. The Aborigine means no harm, but... Tiger. Sorry. <laughs> Liao is apologizing to me now. I... I didn't pay much attention to your feelings. <laughs> no big deal. We gods are supposed to protect our worshippers. Don't get worried about God's feeling. We do. Even the goddess Mazu statue needs to be retouched regularly. I had words to say when I couldn't see you ever since I saw you. It feels like I've been thinking about no one but myself. I never thought it for you. Liao is more mature now. Tiger pats my head. <laughs> Don't treat me like a kid. You are a kid to us. Not only you, but also your dad, even your grandpa. After all, human life is short. But you said you've only revealed yourself for one year. It's been over a dozen years since the creation of my statue. It's merely over a dozen years. You're even younger than me. <laughs> Still feels the same. Everyone from the Lin family is like a child of ours. <sighs> Don't treat me like a child. Fine. I'll treat you like an adult, alright? How will you treat me like an adult? <laughs> this. This month's offerings are on you. How does that sound? <laughs> you just want me to pay. <laughs> Isn't that an adult's responsibility? I'm still living on an allowance. <laughs> you asked for it. Feels like I'm being bullied. <laughs> Be serious, Leo. Feel lonely without them. I'll do my best to cheer you up, okay? Mm -hmm. Until you can handle it. What? You don't believe? This tiger's a stubborn old man. I'll take good care of you. Got it. Tiger strokes my head. It's getting very late. Time for bed? Yeah. Turning off the light, we lie in bed as usual. Tiger's in the same position, hugging me from behind with his hands on my chest. Put my hand on Tiger's hand, feeling the warmth from his fur. His breathing is low and stable. And I gradually fall asleep in his comforting hug. Leopard comes to my classroom after Monday afternoon classes. He's memorized my school, my school timetable. I was worried you wouldn't come back. I'm so glad. I'm back to apologize to Liao. Apologize. No, no need. No big deal. Hmm. Well, apology accepted. I wasn't mad at you at all need to apologize. It's fine. L Liao, no class. Accompany me? Hmm? Sure, are you okay? Apologize. He wants to make it up for me. Okay, I'll be his company. Leopard takes me to the club where he screwed up yesterday. Liao can't dance well. <laughs> I make him dance. If Liao practice, he will dance better. Uh... Just just want to make sure. You mean I practiced yesterday's steps and you helped me get better? Yes. That's good. Liao can't do this dance himself. People won't feel suspicious about it. He just needs to admit he's been practicing in secret. That's right. Leopard is trying to make up for me? 
by making me practice this super difficult dance. Very difficult from what I was expecting. But how can I turn him down? I'll play along. Hopefully I can make Tiger and Leopard become recon reconciled. Leopard starts to teach me. First he controls me to help my body remember this feeling. Then he gives me the time to practice on my own. He gives me a hand when I can't complete some difficult moves. With his extra help, I memorize the steps quickly. However, this is a difficult dance, way beyond my physical attribute level. His intense training is not enough for me to master it. We continue for over one hour until I reach my physical limit. <sighs> Finally, I can kind of finish the whole dance. Is that enough for today? Yo can't handle anymore. It's enough. Okay. Leper turns around and leaves. When he returns, there's a dr drink in his hand. I sip on the juice and wipe off the sweat. Leopard watches me drinking quietly, but the atmosphere around se seems heavy. What is it? Is there something you want to tell me? He doesn't answer or move. Do you think you should go home with me? He decides to leave. I don't want him to leave so suddenly like yesterday. At least make it clear. I don't want to do it here, as some passerbys might see me taking, talking to myself. Should we go back? I need a shower. It's getting dark. I don't want to upset him, trying to keep my tone casual and gentle. Liao will worry if not going home? Hmm? Yes. You mean going back to his hometown? Yes, Liao will return to his hometown for sure. But if he wants to help you, he must go back. Going back home? And go to Wutai? There might be some ways, but it won't be hard. I can't stay very long there. Probably just winter and summer breaks. Not sure my family will let me wander about like this after my graduation. There are classes before his graduation. Yeah, so I said winter and summer breaks. One or two weeks are possible, but my family will give me trouble for that, for sure. Can't be Oracle. I can't if it requires long commitment. I really want to help you, but I can't stay in Wutai long term. Yeah. Yes? I need Oracle. I know, but Liao doesn't have to come. Hmm? Really? But I borrow power from Liao. Power? What power? With power, I can communicate. It doesn't have to be Liao. Hey, what are you talking about? Liao's power is... Sorry. I need it. Liao. Please give me... Leopard reaches his hand out in front of me. I don't understand what he's doing. Somehow it makes me uncomfortable. Oh no. You! Tiger charges at me. Leopard, as if he saw, saw this coming, turns to face Tiger and shoots a flash of lightning from his hand. <clears throat> oh shit. I got an achievement. Okay. As the dust and smoke clears up, I can see Tiger's figure from behind. He looks back to smile at me. Tiger! No problem, I... Hey, you! What's wrong with you? Do you know if you take Liao's power? I know. Why did you get physical then? No choice. What's wrong about you? I won't let it happen. Liao is my worshipper. Don't even think about taking advantage of him. You can't win. Even though... A god will never abandon his worshippers. Neither will I. Leopard stares at me with his cold eyes. I've never seen his face cold like this. Why? Sorry. Leopard lifts his hand again. Liao, move back! Crack cracking sound, I move backward with my, with my face covered by my hands. When I open my eyes, Tiger is down on, on the floor upon one knee. Leopard walks towards me. No! Tiger jumps in from the floor and shields me behind him. Liao, run, I can't stop him. But you, don't worry, I'm a guardian tiger after all. Run, I won't. Ouch, in the broad daylight, how could you hurt someone like this? Who? I know it's on the city's god service. Are you an aboriginal god? Why are you fighting a guardian tiger here? Ah. Here's the third uh, crowdfunded, uh, yeah, crowdfunded character, I guess. 
the funder, yes, person who gave money. Are you an aboriginal god? Why are you finding a guardian tiger here? Look at what you were doing. Are you attempting to hurt this young man? The sun is still out there, and it is on a school campus. Don't you think harming a human under this circumstance will go too far? I, I just want to help my people. What does that have anything to do with hurting others? I need Liao's power. Liao doesn't want to go there. You got physical because this young man refused to help you? I, I need Liao's power. And you choose to make enemies with us. I, I need Liao's power. Looks like there's nothing le more left to talk about, so... I'll be your opponent. As Hinos blocks the leper leper's path, Tiger and I run home as fast as we can. That didn't go remotely as well as I wanted to. Oh, put on a shirt, please. <laughs> Ooh. Let me fan myself real quick. Please take a shower and also clean yourself up. You, you need it. <sighs> Knew it. That leopard has no good intention. How, how could he? Still can't believe Le Leopard attempt to attack me. Looking at Tiger's clothes worn and torn, I can't deny it. Tiger is in spiritual form. How come his clothes are damaged during the attack? Shouldn't it be... Whatever, it doesn't really matter. We... What should we do? That Haino should be able to buy us some time. Don't think it will be very long. He, he can't stop Leopard? It's a maid, he may be able to defeat him, but... That takes 12 of them together. What? 12 of them. City God's 12. City God not only protects the, is not only the protector of the city, but also the judge of the underworld. And all routine affairs, City God usually has multiple subordinate, subordinates to help with administration. Based on the size of the city, can be 3, 6, 12, or 24. Will he be okay? Leopard? Don't know. Gods are not easy targets. They won't die even if they are routed. Just, I gave off some chi to other directions on the way back to confuse him. Hopefully, it can give us more time. But even though I'm no match for him, we must decide what to do next. Do we have any choice? I wanted to wait longer before mentioning this. We don't have much time. Liao, you know Ji Tong can summon a god to possess his body, right? Uh, yeah, are you asking me to let you possess me? Summoning a god to possess your body is not a simple thing. It requires the Guardian Tiger and the Jitong to be very familiar with each other. It also requires that the Jitong can, can comfortably entrust his body to the Guardian Tiger's care. Even for the Ling family, a Jitong can only be possessed by one Guardian Tiger in his life. We are not that familiar yet, and it's been merely one month since you could see, see me. Even if I know you from a very young age, it won't work. Why'd you bring it up then? There's some way. What is it? To help us know each other better. Or in other words, to help you feel comfortable about me entering your body. Uh, it sounds a bit ambiguous, but so... This kind of situation, what can possessing do? If I can possess your body, my spirit power will provide you direct protection. Leopard can't harm you by any means, as he's only spiritual form after all. So I'll be shrouded by Tiger Spirit's power? It sounds very safe, but will Leopard give up? Through your body, my spirit power can control objects. Although the Leopard's- that, Why is there a zero there? <laughs> Although the Leopard's power is stronger, we can defeat him easily. I see. How should we do this? You must trust me to the degree that you are comfortable to give your body to me. Give my body to Tiger? Uh, that... I don't have much feeling hearing what he said, but what would it be like giving my body to him? How much do I have to trust him to do so? Am I not trusting him enough? I think I trust Tiger a lot. I feel very safe to have him protect my life. Is it still not enough? Recalling our interaction in the past one month, we got pretty intimate several times. I guess it doesn't really count. So, you don't think I trust you enough? Let me put it in another way. The elf's body is not trusting me enough. Closer intuition than I thought. Then, 
What should I do? Sounds like Tiger know what is needed to be done. This. First you must get used to my contact. Oh jeez. I should have done more to things to improve our tacit understanding. No time to waste. The outcome here. Tiger opens his arms to me. So are we to, are we to hug? This might not be enough, but let's start. It feels like he's setting me up, but I have no other options. Tiger's strong arms and muscles make me shy. <laughs> Liao. <clears throat> I lean in Tiger's arms. Tiger's body is hot. Just because of the fight, or is it just me? Tiger strokes the back of my head, soothes my nerves. Feels great le leaning to his shoulder. I almost forget about the intense reality. I don't need to worry about anything in his arms. This won't be enough. Tiger's hugged me a lot before. Hmm. Yeah, are you comfortable with it now? Quite similar to our everyday contact. Nothing special. True. Shall I take the next step? The next step? What would it be? My heart begins to beat really fast. Okay. Tiger puts his hand on my shoulder, making my body lean backwards slightly. I lift my head, facing Tiger's eyes. Tiger leans forward. I feel tense, then... He gently places his forehead on mine. Ah. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed, that's it? <laughs> Liao, good boy. What? What are you talking about? Tiger's forehead presses tight on mine. His big face is right in front of mine. I can feel his breath. I'm very glad it's me protecting you here. You are a gentle boy. A bit irresolute and hesitant sometimes, but nothing is bad about it. You refuse to go back to your own hometown, but you didn't hate me or your elder brother for this. I think you're brilliant. I admire you for sticking to your dream. I personally hope you will come home one day, but that's another story. If I could, I'd love to support you unconditionally. Tiger's words make me flush. You came out of nowhere, I'm a bit confused. Hmm. Why are we talking about this? Shouldn't we reveal our heart to each other at this moment? What, when did you when did you get not bruised up? Okay. Yes, so we can trust each other more. Moment of I have a moment of hesitation. Tiger asked me to trust him. Opening up my heart to him should help, but speaking of feelings, here's something I always wanted to ask, but should I ask now? I must trust Tiger now. If I can't if I can't have the answer to this question, I better ask. In this case, I have a question to ask. Tiger, I heard what you just said, but isn't it because I'm a child of the Lin family that you're willing to take care of me? If I have nothing to do with the Lin family, you don't like me anymore, right? I I will. I will I can talk to you because of your spirit power. But the connection between Liao and the Lin family is only a tie between us. It's not necessary for me to like every member of the family. In fact, many guardian tigers have very bad relationship with their Jitong. Favorable impression doesn't have much to do with possessing. No many guardian tigers can possess their Jitong's body, actually. Their Jitong's body actually don't like their Jitong at all. They appear to be friends, but are actually on bad terms. That doesn't sound right. All in all, the key is if you can trust me enough to entrust your body to me. No matter what, me more communication doesn't hurt. So, it's not because I'm a child of the Lin family that you want to take care of me? Of course not. You are from the Lin family, is my duty to protect you. But it's not necessary for me to. For you to what? For me to think of you, <laughs> for me to think you are a good boy. What good boy? You're treating me as a kid again. Not like that, it's... I said that because I like Liao. Uh, uh, you, you like me so you call me a good boy? What else can it be? You're a child of the Lin family and I like you. Are oh, you a good boy to express my love for you? Is that strange? No, this usually would mean something else. So what do you think of me? Responsibility, responsibility to take care of people from the Lin family, and you find me a good human? I consider you a son of the Lin family that I like. My heart's just to be. That means. Yes, I have to do it. I didn't plan to. What do you mean? This. Tiger kisses me on the lips. No, there's no CG for this? Aww. <laughs> I was hoping for a CG for that, but okay. There's not much a distance between our faces. I have no time to respond. His tongue slips in. Tiger's tongue is thick, long, and rough, filling my mouth. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Damn, this is the Steam version. This is the this is a this is the not saucy version too. I'm hesitant. I try to lick back, but my tongue is nothing compared to by, to tigers by the size. I quit resisting and let his French kiss stir the lake of my heart. Wow, that's that's poetic there. I feel slightly offensed, and I enjoy it. I think that meant to say offended, but okay. You got it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Only kind of, isn't it clear enough? You're forcing me to make it perfectly clear. What happened to your confidence? I have my concerns. <laughs> what concerns? A anyway, you asked for it, Liao. I like you very much, and I don't want to share you with anyone else or see you hurt, clear? Yes. My face is burning. What is wrong with me? I asked for this. I don't know if it's enough for you to make you trust me, but I want to protect you. Protect you with my own hands. This is my willfulness. So, Liao. Tiger grabs my shoulders and stares at my eyes earnestly. Will you allow me to enter your body and protect you with my own hands? Enter my body. Why do you put it so ambiguous? It makes me more embarrassed. He's not talking about boning you. Can't bone you in the Steam version, my dude. <laughs> of course. I'll try. I want to try. I'm not sure if you can possess me successfully. No problem. If it can't work, we can... A knock on the door. It's time. Sorry, Liao. I want to see if we can seek aid from the city god. Since he's already at the door, I don't think we can escape. Did he knock politely? Is that just did he just knock politely? Um good thanks thanks Likulao for being very polite about this. So possessing my body is our last chance? Can't believe Leopard wants to hurt me. But we have no other choice. Another knock on the door as I hit as I <laughs> as I hesitate. Leopard really means to attack me. Why would he wait at the door? Building in wishful thinking, I go ahead and open the door. Liao. You are here for? I need your power. What if I say no? I'll take it by force. Your guardian tiger can't defeat me. <clears throat> Don't be too confident. Shall we try? I mean, bring it. Thought I knew you pretty well after this long time. I expected you were up to no good. It was my fault to allow you to stay by the outside. However, this is the time this is time to correct the wrong. You wanna fight? You are asking for a fight. I just want... You won't succeed. Liao is under my protection. Leopard gets in a combat stance. Tiger reaches his hands out to me. I grab Tiger's hands. His big hands hold me tightly. A stream of strength flows through. All of a sudden, I'm holding nothing. Warm string, a warm stream runs up my palm. Tiger vanishes in my eyes. I can feel his strength in my body. My hands are moving by themselves, making me surprised at once, but I calm down quickly since Tiger has already told me about this. Even though, I still feel Tiger's power is unstable. I may not be able to, to be possessed if I resist too much. Then he, I get in combat stance. Oh, rad. This is so cool. <laughs> to keep myself low, I lean forward like a tiger before making a sudden ass assault. Leopard looks surprised. He launches a small flash of lightning at me as a test, but Tiger doesn't even want to dodge. His lightning hits my forehead, causing my left eye to blink and nothing more. However, I don't feel any pain. Tiger begins to talk in my voice. You should know that you can't defeat me while I'm in Yao's body. Right now, I can direct directly affect the reality. We'll see. Leopard steps forward and enters the room. His two hands lift to the same height. This time I can see his moves clearly. Tiger further lowers my body, placing my left hand on the floor. I feel energy accumulating in my thighs. Blue beams shoot out from Leopard's hands. At the same time, Tiger leaps out, throwing me, at, throwing, throwing me out at the blue light and reaching out to grab Leopard's chest. A sharp pain pushes me away. Mm, pretty strong. Mm. Tiger dashes again, keeping my, my body low. Leopard fires out blue beams again. Tiger turns sideways to avoid the light and grabs Leopard at his hand. Blue beams disappear as Leopard retreats, covered his, his injured hands with the other hand. I don't know how bad he's hurt. Oof. Instead of shrinking back, he opens his arms. Green beams shoot out to all directions. Tiger gets ready for another charge. The green 
the green beams twine on my body. These are vines? Green beams on my body becomes vi become vines, biting my hands and feet. Tiger's pounce is terminated. It just appears to be vines to you. There's actually nothing. So I can break free? No. That's it? Leopard tries really hard to keep his hands in the same position in the air as if he was wrestling with Tiger through these imaginary vines. Damn it. He's too powerful. Tiger's words from my mouth sound strong. Although I have no control over my, my own body, I can feel how tense it is. However, neither the vines nor, nor the leopard flinch. Hmm. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger starts to roar in a low, low voice. Damn it. It was so close. We need the, we need to burst the restraint. You catch together. Are we losing? Tiger and I are ready. Isn't this enough? No, there has to be another way. How can we defeat him? How can I strengthen Tiger's might? I'm a G-Tong. I can't leave everything to my guardian Tiger. I must... I must do something. <sighs> Tiger lets out a roar with anger, but Leopard is not impressed at all. He slowly but steadily approaches, getting really close to me. Bingo. Yes, Tiger once said. Name. Tiger. Guardian Tiger. You are the Guardian Tiger of the Lin, Lin family. Lin who? <laughs> My heart is beating fast as if something inside me was tired up tight, but I don't feel bad. So you are to protect members of the Lin family. Lin Hu, help me. Help me. Stop those who want to hurt me. Then, as you wish. A loud bang. The green light disappears. Guardian Tiger didn't try hard to escape. He and I are standing there with our eyes locked on Leopard. <sighs> mm. Mm. Leopard takes one step back. He leaps backward all of a sudden and turns into a black and yellow shadow. Vanishing at the end of the cor corridor. Tiger walks up closely, slowly to close the door. As the door shuts, I fall to the floor, relaxed. Yao, yeah, are you alright? <sighs> some people feel extremely exhausting, exhausted after a possessing ritual. Take some rest if you don't feel well. No, not like that. I don't feel unwell, it's just my head is still processing everything. We just drove Leopard off. Tiger's name. Bean who? Tiger. Uh. Hmm? The name. <laughs> Do you like it? Wanted to say any name from Yao is good, but. Lin Hu means Tiger Lin. Simple and lightly. I do like it a lot. Hmm. This. This is it. Tiger, I have something urgent to tell you. Yes? I'm not sure how to start. What is it? But there's still things you feel uncomfortable talking to me about. Is it about the leopard? Not really. I wanted to ask about things earlier. Earlier. Earlier we did tiger. No. Lean who? Did you mean it? Mean it. What are you talking about? You said you, li you liked me and kissed me. Are you telling me you're not serious about it? Mm, of, co of course I'm serious, but... But what? Should I put it? I like Liao, but the words came out obtrusively in the pressing situation. So, what are you saying? Just... I don't want you to think too much about it. <laughs> what is too much? Mm -hmm. Never mind. It is my duty to protect Liao. No matter how I feel about Liao, I have to... You want me to pretend nothing just happened? N no, I didn't think you would take it this seriously. How can I not take it seriously? Couldn't help raising my voice. I didn't mean to yell at Tiger. An intense feeling suddenly rushes forth. Why am I so agitating? Agitated. Before I felt... I didn't want to go back with Tiger no matter what. Leo, calm down. I... I was thinking. Tiger, you did everything for me and treated me so nicely and gently. All because you wanted me wanted to possess my body, right? I didn't want... I did want to possess your body, but... It was to resist Cloud Leopard. So, you wouldn't have kissed me without the leopard's attack? Not like that. Lin Hu, let me be straight with you. Honestly, I am. I feel like I've come to a sudden realization. This is just an example of the mis misattribution theory. Was I just too nervous and scared? That doesn't matter. 
Lin Hu, let me ask you again. Do you like me? Of course I like. Don't make me ask what kind of like it is, or if you like all the members of the Lin family. This is not what I want. But Liao. But you said no. No, Liao. I... I like Liao, but... I understand what you're saying. I don't think... Why? Why can't I like a god? You just can't. I'm not human. I know you like beastmen, but you need a boyfriend. You need a real boyfriend. Someone who can take care of you when you're ill, or go shopping with you, or support you financially whenever you need. I know it's hard, but no matter what, you can't rely on a god who doesn't even have a physical form. What can you do if you fall sick? What can we do if we run out, will you run out of money? Won't you take care of me? Won't you bless me against sickness and poverty? As long as you're here with me, I won't get sick and I won't be short on money, right? What's the difference between having you and having a boyfriend? No, this can only bless you. It's not an enough to keep you perfectly fine when something does happen to you. Can't you beg Goddess Mazu to bless me? Yeah, don't mistake gods as omnipotent. Why aren't why not? Aren't you omnipotent? There comes closer and wipes tears off my face. Just realize I've been crying. But Liao can't be the same with a real man. Or your future. Or the rest of your life. You need a real boyfriend, not a god. That would be too special. But that's what I want. I like Lin Hu. I like to have you by my side. I like to have you take care of me like your serious disturbed face. I I know you'll be here with me for the rest of my life because of this. I don't want to stay in the current relationship with you. I want to <laughs> I want to act like a spool of charms in your arms whenever I want. I want you to pat me and comfort me. I want to get more intimate with you, although you're only a spiritual form. It's still great, isn't it? I felt wonderful earlier. Real man can't do better. I like beast men. I can't think of any drawback. Why why can't we Sorry, Liao. I didn't see your heart before. We didn't have any choice. But it's it's still my fault for making that request. I shouldn't get that intimate with you. Why? You don't want to be with me? It's not that I don't want, I just forget about it. Liao, yeah, well, calm down, please. I'm very calm. Actually I'm not calm, but I don't think I'll feel any better after I calm down. At most at most, I might be less upset. Yeah, even that. I want you to give it some time. I won't change my mind. Don't be so agitated. Many things can still... Still what? Still how? You... Tell me. Yeah, I'll give it some time. I'll go back to my statue. I will... It's better that we don't see each other for a few days, giving each other some time. I'll keep my eyes on you and protect you. Nobody knows if Clouded Lover will come back to trouble you again. Liao, please don't be too... <laughs> I'm going. Tiger disappears before the statue. I look around in, my, in the empty room, speechless. Why? Why, all of a sudden, everyone is gone. In the next couple of days, there's no sign of Leopard or Senpai. Senpai he would told me told me he would go back to his hometown. I guess it is it. Leopard probably will never come back after seeing such such a big drama. But Lin Hu. Even Lin Hu never reveals himself. I had two days of the ordinary life of an average university student. No gods talk to me, no gods demand food that I can't finish. No gods es escort me to school and back. And very peaceful. I can completely focus on my studies. No one jumps out to distract me. I go to the bookstore and check out on new releases. I even take a look at the information shelf, which I usually don't do. I have no idea on books there are any different from before. I skip this week's practice, but then I go to the venue in the afternoon when no one else is there. I probably shouldn't go there on my own, but I just don't want any disturbance. I go to the cafeteria for meals as usual, sit in a corner by myself. Chats and laughter from others are loud and full of energy. All of the midterm exams are over. I prepare for each lesson like a good student. I have nothing to do back home anyway. Those websites I used to visit, 
a lot, a lot seem no longer seem appealing. You can't make me feel better. I know I'm in the pouts, but I don't want to give in and make peace first. I'm waiting for Lin Hu to reappear. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> oh, okay, I have a voice now. I pick up a piece of tissue and spit on it. Got a cold. My head feels heavy, but I, st I stay up to drag the mouse. Yo, name it. Didn't I tell you my blessing couldn't protect you from illness? The weather changes every day. How could you take a cold shower? Just wanted to try. I want to know how strong your blessing was while you were away. Found your blessing wasn't enough to guard me from a cold shower. It was more than a cold shower. It was a very cold night. You didn't wear your jacket. It was cold at night. You didn't eat much. You didn't clean your room. You didn't wash your clothes for days. You didn't use your quilt while you were sleeping. You've been torturing yourself. How can I make you come out otherwise? Because you were like this. I felt I couldn't face you. You are hijacking me with your emotions. Where'd you learn this word? Okay, I am. But this is the only way to see you again. I know I've been... I know. But it doesn't give you excuse to act rashly. You're not my boyfriend anyway. I know I crossed the line. But I don't want to give in. I give in now. I accept his no relationship. That Tiger and I are both... Then... Together with Lin Hu for the rest of my life. But not as a couple. How awkward. Liao. Huh? Given. Oh? But I have terms to make. What terms? If... I mean, if one day you meet someone else you like. I won't accept this. <laughs> I knew it. However, human heart is hard to predict. Especially your future self. If that happens, don't worry about me. God And gods aren't jealous. Liao's happiness is the most important thing for me. Right now, starting a relationship with Liao makes Liao happy. So, you agree to start a relationship with me? I'm not done with my terms yet. Not a lot. As you said, in this era doesn't make a big difference between dating a man or a non-human. Sad that we can't hold hands when we go out. Sad that I can't buy you a hot bowl of soup when you're ill. Uh, that we can't ever get married or adopt our own child, but I do want to be together with Liao as a couple. Really? You don't believe me. No, it's just... I'm afraid you're just trying to comfort me. I mean it with my heart. What's the problem even if I was just comforting you? Liao, you care too much about the formation. I don't have a place to judge you. This is why I think we might be able to do this. However... I still consider it a waste for a talented boy as you to not go back to your hometown. Is it still part of your terms? If you insist. No. I understand Liao doesn't want to go back. I don't want to force you because you won't feel happy that way. So, my request is, I want you to open a blog for me. A blog? I haven't thought it through, but something like that. I want to solve problems for other others on the internet as a guardian tiger. As a guardian tiger, I help you answer questions? I don't get it. Gods must also keep up with the times. I've been thinking, nothing is wrong with going to temples to make quests, but nothing is stopping us from making use of the internet, the new platform. It will be more convenient if my worshippers can seek help from me through the internet. Even if I can't solve some of the requests, I can pass them on to Holy Mother or send them to clear audience to spread, spread them out. Of course, I need someone to work on the computer for me. Liao, I need you. So... You need me to be the middleman? Sorry, but I just burped. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> yes, and I'm able to possess your body. I'd like to work on the computer myself. Huh? You want to use my computer? You want to use my body to surf the internet? Sometimes, even if you could type for me. It's easier that I can control it myself. For example, I could chat with others on those online forums. This is your excuse? A rare opportunity. Very rare. I never thought I could type one day. You know, it's very exhausting. However, if I could type with Liao's hands, not only typing, maybe I could also play games? Do everything on the computer. You know we can read and play chess and ta 
we can read and play chess and table games. We have no other power over electronic stuff. I could use your computer. Ouch, I could, I could show off in front of the other Guardian Tigers. I won't let other Guardian Tigers possess my body. And don't worry, I'm the only one who can. I won't give you to anyone. What are you talking about? Simple show off. I know Tiger's showing, but my face turns red unconsciously. So you want to possess my body to use my computer? Got it. No, I want to use the internet to connect my, with my worshippers. Using computer is something extra. That's really time consuming. Watching you browsing forums sounds boring, but anyways, deal. That's what it takes to be in a relationship with you, I'll do it. <laughs> so Liao. Shouldn't you put some clothes on and drink some hot water? I know. I take a hot shower instead, washing off all the gloom and worries that have accumulated for days. Can't fight off a cold, but I do feel much better already. Even my throat no longer hurts. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, Liao. Whoa, how'd you get it? <laughs> clean your neck properly and the areas behind your ears. Did you brush thoroughly? Did you clean your private part completely? Wow, let me do this part myself. I can't rest my mind until I see it with my own eyes. Please don't. Even people in a relationship won't do that. <laughs> I'm not your average human after all. Consider it a price you have to pay after dating a god. You haven't done laundry for days. Your clothes are smelly. Your room needs a tidy up. Don't forget, after your shower. Don't be like an old lady. That was cute. That was cute. I love that. Ah. Oh, this is how Lin Hu and I start our relationship. Our relationship soon becomes a topic among gods and Yao Guais. Some find it hard to believe, and others send us their best wishes. My brother has a mixed feeling of these two. Thank goodness he didn't bring it to my parents, or I'd be in big trouble. I bet they can't accept that I'm dating a god. I asked my brother to request advice from Goddess Mazu, and her answer is Holy Po. I finally get three Holy Po in a row after a few times of my laughing Po. Guess the goddess is surprised by my request. The fan page I made for Lin Hu is online. These days, those SNS sites allow other users to make a page of a certain theme easily, which is convenient. There are not many people at the beginning, but I'm working on it very hard. Whenever I have time, I'll take a look at it and change our, change eh, and answer questions. Of course, the majority don't believe it, which can't be changed by anything but time. I don't really care if they believe it, as long as they come and follow Guardian Tiger. According to Lin Hu, this could be considered one way of increasing belief. Lin Hu uses my body to browse forums, sometimes he also plays games, especially first-person shooters. His ra ranks are actually better than mine. Couldn't... Oh, his, ra his ranks are actually than my yeah, better than mine. He couldn't control my body very, first, very well at first, walking on all fours from time to time. However, he can already do it smoothly now. I don't think it'll be a problem if he takes my body outside. Actually, it's pretty fun watching Lin Hu play games. I don't necessarily want to play them myself. Sometimes I even offer him my body to play it. Lin Hu, of course, is doing very well in those high-tech forums. He uses his own accounts to read articles and answer questions. It's hard for me to imagine that Tiger Lin is helping, me, is helping solve technology-related problems. Like a newly wedded couple, we spend most of our time at home together and get intimate frequently. He loves to make fun of me by all means and watch me flush. I kind of like it. However, it's getting annoying that he watches me all the time, doing housework and cleaning the room and comments on my clothes and appearance. I know that's his care, so I don't dislike it. We're back to, to the stable school life. Don't know what will happen when I return to my hometown, but I hope there won't be too many problems since the goddess has already approved our, our relationship. I'm very happy. The only pity is, Leopard never shows up again. Neither does Senpai. I heard from a schoolmate that he has quit school and gone back to his hometown. What happened? That's his family business after all. That's his family business after all, which I shouldn't poke my nose in. Neither does Leopard Cat ever reveal himself. I guess he's back in Miaoli. To be there as a local god, local god of soul, its last days. I wish him the best for our future. Ah, hold on, I didn't finish reading. <laughs> Achievement unlocked to hold your hand and modern tiger. That was cute. That was a really cute ending. I, mm, I'm really disappointed about the bad ending I got, and, and the fact that, that uh. Likulao, it's just not okay. This is really cute. What is this little sprite? This is adorable. Ah.
I'm curious about the good ending. I'm probably gonna play more of this. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it more. Um, I didn't expect to get through this entire game in two, but here we are. That was, I would say that's a good ending. Not the best ending, but a good ending. Oh, this is such a cute CG. Oh, who's the artist who did the CGs? Because it's not, um, it's not the same artist. It's not, I forgot his name already. The same artist who did all of the character art. Because the CGs are very different style. In who I have something to ask. Name it. You must be honest with me. The name Lin Hu. Do you seriously like it? Hmm. I like it a lot. What's wrong? It seems to bother you. Not really. Sometimes I think... I didn't think it thoroughly back then, but now I realize there's many guardian tigers in the Lin family. And the name Lin Hu, which means Tiger Lin. Hmm. I see. No problem. It's actually pretty good. What is it? Because I'm the very first guardian tiger with this name. I'm the guardian tiger of the Lin family authenticated by Liao. Names can't be shared. My seat of the guardian tiger in the Lin, Lin family is secure. Even if you are in inexperienced comparing yourself to other guardian tigers? <laughs> That's why I said it's pretty good. This name tr strengthens my power. Experience. I will su surpass them slowly. Ah, okay, the CGs are made by multiple artists. V Dragon, did you work on this game? I just like you're like answering all these questions, and I very much appreciate you being in the chat. I wish I could have the chat in the uh, in the stream, so I could so the people who watch it later can see it in the vod. Anyways, I'm quite satisfied. Leo, don't take such trifles to hat to heart. I guess you just know very much about this game. <laughs> this is not a trifle. <laughs> I'm saying it is a trifle. Now, Liao's troll is solved. Shall we get a family bucket tonight? No, I'm too fat for that. <laughs> no problem. I'll love you the same much. I'll love you the same much when you get fatter. Not again. I won't buy it this time. At least four pieces of chicken then. No. One egg tart? <sighs> Fine. Deal. One family bu bucket plus an egg tart. No way. <laughs> I love him. I love my fat boy. Oh, and when I get one of their endings, they show up on the on the screen. That makes me happy. Oh, there are notes on some of these. Oh, oh, that's cool. It has different layers. It's so cute. Oops. Hit replay. Oh, this time I can see the thing at the end. <laughs> okay, what did you say at the end? Because I missed that. Okay. We're back to the stable school life. God, I'm very happy. The only pity is that lover. Senpai, yeah, okay. Senpai, I feel my happiness is built on their sadness, and I'm quite sorry about it. Oh. However, as Lin Hu would say, I can't help everyone. Yeah, that does make me very much want to get. I got one of the normal endings. Okay. That feels very positive for a normal ending. I love my fat boy. He's great. forgot about this. Aw. We had such a good time together. I forgot that there's just straight up a butt here. Thanks. God, this was so fucking creepy. Yeah, I'd imagine I'd get a different ending if I chose to go home, as opposed to- but I kind of- Because, like, the dialogue will be completely different if I decide to go home. Like, everything will be different. Eight out of the twelve endings are bad endings. No. <laughs> That's two-fourths of- I mean, two-thirds of them. 
Oh god. Oh jeez. Uh... I can't believe I got a bad ending so quickly. But okay. Alright, I got unending. I'm So I'm gonna call the stream here. Uh, thanks to people who came in. I know some people were in the chat and some people left. Thanks B-Dragon for offering a lot of good commentary. I really do wish I had the chat uh, on the stream. I think I'm gonna look up how to do that for following streams. I don't know if I'll play Nekujishi on here again. Maybe I will, because I do want to get other endings. I do want to get uh, Senpai, Senpai's ending, and I do want to get Likulai's ending. Apostrophe S. Um, <laughs> I mean, no, S, S apostrophe, yes. Uh, but I will see when that happens. I just realized he's reading a manga that looks very familiar. Apple Seed Decode. That looks really familiar. Anyway, thanks everybody everybody for joining me. This was Let's Cats. This was Nekojishi. This is great. I suggest you play it if you haven't uh, and get a different ending. Go ahead. Uh, there's apparently 12 endings, so there's that. Uh, it's a free game too, so there's also there's also an 18 plus version, which I'm not going to play because I really like visual novels when they don't have the 18 plus stuff in it. Because <laughs> I feel like it makes the characters a little more honest. With some exceptions. There are some games that do it right, but I feel like it's really hard to get it right. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.